Back around the corner, it's Twist and Elige. They've really sabotaged their own finances here. Liquid still have a chance though. Elige out of nowhere. It's now a two versus one, and Twist is certainly capable of winning these sort of rounds. Form will be planted. But he is so aggressive here. He might even find this kill. He's got to reload though. It's all falling apart. Twist isolated in the corner, still making this work. This will be absolutely fantastic. He pulls oh, this baby. One oh my god, he's done it! Teammate and Device still finds an angle on his Stewie. Timing is everything. Dupree absolutely nails it. He absolutely does. 30 seconds remaining, still possible though. Players like Fur can shut these situations down very quickly. But Magus should confirm the round at this point. It's Tarek. Oh my goodness, finding all the headshots. Surely he doesn't have a chance here. He'll go for the plant. It's actually looking possible. He'll get it down here. It's up to Device to try and deny everything. Tarek could win the one versus four. He has a Molotov available to him. Device is low and he has to wait for his teammate. He's got to start moving though because he doesn't have information behind him. He's expecting it to be from the stairs, but now that flash comes out. Device, trying to work back in, has given away the fact that Zipix is coming from the front, and Tarek, oh, a one wow. versus four! Both teams have been throwing absolutely everything at each other. And look at this, what on earth? Nifty, wow! Movement, boy, oh, easy move, oh, my oh. God! Nifty again on the site. Let's see some more magic, my friend, with that orb. Chris J goes down. Oh, oh Nifty! Play. And Nifty is coming up, absolutely what? insane! Right now for the Renegades! Holy moly! Here we go then, it's Nico coming in, the back line takes down Chris J! All of a sudden, it's flipped around once again. Two versus one, the world's best player up against it to stay in the game. They'll go for the fake defuse, but Nico not taking the bait! Can he finish this job? Yes, he can! We're going to overtime! Again. With Imperial on the cusp of ramp, Nico's gonna have to pull out some insane oh. plays. And he starts with the Deagle to Esperanto, spams on Tanuki. Can he find himself oh. a third? Oh. A fourth! Oh. Nico comes to life! Kill Rain taking down Mihu. And now it's a one versus two. Rain, the last one left. The bomb is already ticking away. He's gonna have to be quick on this one. Headshot taking down Pasha and now Neo waiting for it. He's won so many one versus ones in this game. And on the bomb, tapping it a single time. The headshot instantaneously. Neo taking the kill. That's 15 rounds for Murders Pro. Molotov down. This might be the one kill he needs, but missed shot goes out wide. How is he not dead from the player on the site? Where's the peak? He oh! finds them both. Wardell! He's got the chance. He's seen the player come out. Confidence! Oh! Gone! Wardell with an incredible clutch to keep Ghost going! But I say it and it all changes. On the bomb, Pasha and Neo have a chance. It is just accurate. And he's got to swing around. He's got the shot on Pasha. Ball not swapped! And he's got Neo running back. Finally, Ty Lu closed the game. The man will not be moved and they're reading this final moment coming in from Exist. Oh, that's a shot though. And now the 1v1. Oh! He's done it! How does he do that sort of play, Glaive? Shot in the face himself. Not a fun time here so far for the Cloud9 lads. Tarek, can he save the day? He's pissed around. Oh! Wow. Sit down. Still two players to go. He, they're actually isolated in 1v1s. Tarek can actually maybe do this. Another frag is coming his way. He's down to two bullets left before the reload. Will he find a way here? He has time to go for a reload if he wants to, but he doesn't want to go and ruin his position, I guess, as he goes for finally for the reload. Forced into it, and a oh, oh my, oh my. my. Tariq. Tarek with the ace clutch. Sees, but it might not even be needed. Zeus taking a liege down, unanswered frag so far. Taco with one, but they need so much more. Nitro picking off Electronic, playing around the smoke, but Simple's going to be peeking soon. Has he got the right angle? It's Taco to transfer from Taco. That's huge. And there is another one. Look at this. Alex has made his way and Dupree spotted him though just at the right time. Magic now around the smoke. He's in the red. He's dead. And now we've got a second player rotating in again. Well, this is mostly a bias. A big frag from Alex. Surely not. Oh! Alex, what are you doing? Just get a kill. The Molotov, the flank, the trade, and it's Apex again. One versus three again. The clutch minister. So far, so good. There's two more players remaining. He's through the smoke. The bomb is so far tick though. There's a flank behind the smoke. Never do that. 20 just hiding. He's wasting so much time. The peppering. Where is the last player? The CZ is out. No. He's done it again, but is there time to defuse? It's so close. Zipex, he's doing it again. This can't be real. Oh my god, he's not going to let no. Oh, oh my god. god. Are, Are you serious? kidding me? I am so Are done you with kidding this game. Me? Yeah, two players to work with this time. Make that one. Skadoodle, your turn. You're up. And he's already got the first. He goes. Oh, oh. it's Nico in the smoke as well. He doesn't know it, but he goes back out. He's got oh, the slow. No. Oh, my God. How close is that? How fast is Skadoodle? And his turn to stand up. Three in a row in a one versus two.
Nav's still far back, but the Galil can't kill anyone, can't complete any of those kills. They're all so low, oh. and he gets the spray down. Steel, a heroic, shots through the smoke. Cold Zera, 17 HP in a one-on-one. -on -one. This guy's crosshair straight at him. Steel is going to be able to win the fight. Но насколько будут СК бороться, и насколько они мотивированы, насколько им будет помогать зал, вы увидите сами. Сюи, спрей от одного, второго, пошел жарить бот! И сам сгорел! Просто. And that also gives away his position, so this might be possible now. But Golden is secondary in that corner. Oh, Golden missing his opportunity. Stika will bounce back as he finds one on Caboose. He finds the second on VSA. He gets the third as well. Back, but they've actually set a trap. Look at Simple hiding in the corner. How far in are they going to peek? There's a headshot. Oh my god. Following it up. An electronic with one of his own. Simple just one four. He's eating all of them. Quad kill for him. I think the Starladder admin in the background was even kind of shaking his head a little bit. <laughs> better start doing his job. Check that PC. <laughs> this is... Oh, it's so dirty, isn't it? Jesus. Well, but there it is. Massive play from Carrigan. And this spins it around. Sonny with 30 HP versus three players. That is enormous from Carrigan. How on earth did he find the path, a safe route through the bomb site? So much danger lurking. And now there's just one more danger left. Sonny with the AK finds himself some damage. But he is just so critically low. Faze right now taking nothing for granted here. They're going to make him go deep for the bomb. They know they have the advantage and they know that he has to plant. But they don't have to do too much. Oh my god, opportunity there. Nico didn't land a single bullet. You can't say that every day. So now it goes down to two and Olofmeister critically weak as well. Sunny, we know how good he is. There's a chance here now. As he tries desperately to make this one work. They cannot allow this round to go sour. Still trying to find those players desperately. It's so difficult to try to isolate them, but he has time. Oh, he finds another one. That's Olaf Meister dead. One more to go. Rain. He's got a Deagle. One bullet does it. Sonny! That is incredible. The patience and the focus. That's absolutely what Mouseports needed. Oh, Smooth a bit eingeschlafen. Tapsen kriegt ein Nex, aber auch erfolgreich. Nee, nicht erfolgreich. Tapsen! Und jetzt kommt Gobbi als Unterstützung von Kurz. Und Tapsen versucht zweite. Tapsen! Tapsen! And it will just leave two players remaining. One of them, Tesek, he quickly ends two lives. Looking for his third, finds it as well. Tesek's just come out of nowhere. Looking for fourth, what is that? John, that's disgusting. Oh dear, okay, there we go. Twist, ooh, twist again with the CZ. Oh, oh my God, we've seen it before and we've seen it again. I told you. This one will take something absolutely disastrous to happen at this point. The bomb is going to be planted in two, three. Oh, what? Through the smoke, finds another. All of a sudden, it's a two on two. It may just be around the corner where in which Civics is playing from a Dupree, AWP with that low H. Well, health won't matter, he can pick it all, he finds cold as well. That's absolutely crazy. Glaive going towards the B-bomb site now for a one versus one with Elige, who has an M4 and 17 HP. Doesn't need to peek until he... Oh, he's by the fountain. Got to stay alive, now dancing around the fountain. And now it's a one versus two. No smoke for Glaive. He's got 37 seconds left. Jumping across, planting towards the coffins as Taco and Twist come in from the same position. They have to win this clutch, James. Team Liquid need to win this clutch. But Glaive... He is ready to spoil their day as they move in. They're trying to, oh, that is big. That's such a big deal. 14 HP, what a beautiful connection there through the coffins as Glaive repositions. Taco goes for the challenge. Oh, we can't do it though. Now things get interesting. Trying to actually fake forwards a flash potentially as Glaive repositions here. Just toying with Twist. He knows he can't take a fight. He just has to confuse him and make it really difficult for Twist to find the frag in some way. Glaive is playing the mind games, but Twist, he tries to go oh one better, but he days. can't. Going for the hold. Glaive says no. Hellraisers opting towards the A site instead. We'll meet Adren and Mir after the fact. Angel. Ooh, whoa. Oh my god. Another possibly. Numbers are hard, but not, not that hard. Yeah. Oh, what? He was jumping. This is their smoke. And now, oh, AC doubles up, triples up. What is that? That's criminal. 
Hazy's looking unreal down in CT. Wants to try and get more done. And oh my goodness, Hazy. What a pistol round it's been from him. Дает голову Эрилу, должен его забирать. Да, получается, Алла отвечает, но остается сам против четверых игроков команды Натус Винсера. Это очень сложный раунд, и Алла должен выйти убить Сашу. Все-таки здесь позиция была намного лучше. Тут же спускается на нуки. А как вот и выходить на плен? Разве что убить Зевса очень быстро. Тот красный, вот он выход Аллу. Все-таки есть минус электроники флейми. Дабл пик, господи! Один на один ситуация. Алла, возможно, делать айс в этом раунде. Электроник перетягивается на Зик уже. Ну, какой раунд. Просто Алла, невероятная стрельба с АВП. Он понимает, где находится электроник. Алла в итоге уходит на лонг бомбу поставил он тоже на длину. Какой же тяжелый раунд для электроника. У электроника только коктейль молотого из гранат плюс дефузы. Аллу при этом с АВП. Это самая выгодная винтовка как раз таки для таких перестрелок. Хороший коктейль молотого, но Аллу делает... Оскар going down straight away and a response from Rops hiding in the graveyard. He's gonna send Apex to one himself. Looking for more. Three shots from Rops. Three kills. Fourth misses, but maybe he can follow up. He does. Rops. That is ridiculous. Smokes out. Flashes as well, automatic tries to hold it, he will, successfully. And a trace pulls all the way to the ground, but then snaps up, finds cold, he's looking for an ace, and automatic's got all five, and that was against guns. Onward, so it seems, with Bomb. They just saw Batten go down lower. Worried about the vent, but the wrong one, actually. <gasps> And he just saw Shazam. Shazam's the bomb carrier right now, and there's 10 seconds left, so he's gonna get left. drawn he towards has the to site. Go plant. Yeah, so... He knows there's one in vent as well. Oh my and god. And he picks up the other player. I mean, Batten is seriously contending in a 1v4. He knows these others should be towards this site. He charges through the Molotov. No Another way. duel's been won. No way. And he is seriously staring this clutch in the face right now. Sick movement. He has so much time. He can make this play, but that window, is it popped open? It's already broken. <gasps> Batten down the hatches. He's got himself the quad. He will be taken down very quickly. Automatic back on one, but it's up to Bondic. Said he wasn't having the best time of it, but he is having a fantastic oh round. My. And Cold knows the situation and is staring in that direction. His elbow shows, but it's not enough to put him down. Device with a scout and a pistol. Goes out, finds fall and sees him. He's got it back. We've got more. Left now, just Angel. One versus three, and they're all right there. Oh, long-range headshot. Gonna be taking down Stiko. He's got plenty of time. And right now, they really need to rethink this one. Mouse Sport, just leave him alone. Don't try and fight him just yet. He's gonna get close up, though. Chris J solo, double potential is there. I think he might have spotted both. They line up. Angel, he gets it! Oscar goes down, a beautiful headshot. This could be catastrophic. And there's no Molotovs, there's nothing to be able to clear this down. Actually, Electron takes the fight early and completely destroys two players. It's Robin on the hunt, though. He tries to run into it, he gets cut down, and Electronic is... Oh! Oh! <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> supreme play from Electronic. Até que a C4 foi plantada no site da A. Fear consegue encontrar no sanduíche o Rafa. Balaço do Fear agora para eliminação do Punk. Vai conseguindo agora fazer ali o recuo para se proteger no vagão verde, sobe nele, busca mais um crânio, o Fer é doutrinador com pistolas em mãos, o Steel não conseguiu fazer ali o abate Meu junto Deus. com ele, Fer vai buscar mais um, ficou sem bala, só tem nove disparos nessa USP, vai para cima do Yuji, ele mexe também o Ramon! The smokes dissipate. So desperate. Nitro making all the plays he can. Nitro doing what he does. Where they're safe from. Looking for more. He's got a tiny gap. Delivers a kill onto Buster. Just down to Kika. One versus two. Touching the bomb. Trying to draw out the players. But he can't do it. He's got another USB pick back up. It's full. It's got 12 shots. Oh, but unfortunately, none of them are going to land. So it's just going to be shut down from Olaf. And Olaf turns around and replicates everything. Simple's done plus more. Что-то заставило в этом раунде их сыграть несколько аркад подряд на агрессии в самом начале раунда. Просто выйти и самим умереть. Оскар, конечно, красавчик. Делает два килла. Но что? Это, возможно, четвертый минус. Потому что бомба-то у него под ногами лежит. Там Брис пытается на перетяжке сыграть. И как же ошибались только что американские игроки. Оскар тоже идет на эту позицию против библиотеки. Кто кого сейчас какие тайминги господи Ой, он, он настолько углу... чувствует он просто нюхает да, да и просто сейчас бы сможет выйти к нему и этот оскар должен делать он не спешит в итоге флюгун 4 спилер от бут ан курц и там идет сего 
Oh, was wow. ein Schuss von Rain. Kriegt er noch die zweite und die dritte. Rain eskaliert, macht sogar Kill Nummer 4 und das ist. Wow. Making sure you don't have too much information, but straight into B is Azakev. Yeah, he's on the entry, but Ben Tet's actually here with the AK 47. Ooh. That's actually the bomb and the orb loss. He's still going in. That's a beautiful flashbang coming out. Oh, oh my, my goodness, God. Ben Tet, you can't do that. That is disgusting. They're going to be pulling off this retake and keeping themselves in the tournament. Okay. Although Bit's going to do his best to stop it. There's one kill and got NBL off the defuse as well. He's jumped back oh. on it now. He's dead. This is not happening. Let's see if he can. Oh! oh! With the jumping kill to end the 1v3, NTC are going to hold it. Perfect smoke. Jame going to be going down. Dima Sick did get one, and Buster lining it up. He's going to follow it up. Double Deagle shot as well. Suddenly we're in a 2 on 3 and looking for more. Buster gets the triple. Looking oh. for an extra shot. Comes in. Unbelievable. Taking down Oscar. And. Yeah, but we have Cajun Bizzle on the flank arena. Big plays there from Breeze. Breeze. Really the play required. But this one is simple. That's what we want to see from him. Is he going to get another? Surely not. Trying to push the smoke down. It's a perfect angle. He's lined up for three. Oh my god, simple. He does it again. He is so good at this weapon. It's now a three versus one. And he's hungry for blood. And of course, he nails it. Let's see what he's able to do in this round. A 1v3 is going to be very tough. That's a good start, though. Doesn't take any damage really from that. Now on 1v2, and he's got nades here to eliminate some of the positions to play the, deduc the deduction game as to where these T's are standing. Now close to the site, eliminated almost all the positions. They have to be on the site. They're playing the trade game. Oh, no! Pierwszy do wyjścia na bombsite B, tak mogą sądzić gracze na tym komale, jednak stał tutaj Drops, kolejne trafienie od Dropsa, dwa zdobyte fragi, trzeci jeszcze z pistoletu ze sprawą Estończyka, kapitalna akcja i po raz czwarty Drops, ależ teraz świetnie. Molotov goes down behind the blue crate. Oscar, good find. Oh, one trick pony. It's not like as he's an author, he's not comfortable with particular rifles or anything like that. Look what he's doing. Three in the round. As he gets the fourth as well. You cannot argue with this map. Goes for the ace, Oscar, and he's going to get it as well. Well, five. <laughs> Egan Glaive was expecting it, but he still does not win the fight. And that's a nice pick. Again, Nitro. He hasn't seen anyone. He's going to get behind it. Maybe try and stop this plane. He's going to go for the knife. It's out. He's going to get it. He stabs Magisk. No more ball. Oh, the follow up. The best smoke stealers. It's like, oh no, it's okay. But Nico ready and waiting on the other side of it. We'll only get. Okay, my goodness gracious, Nico, what, what the hell that? was that? <laughs> oh my god. Two of the players can force by AK oh without armor. God. What, AZ? Three, now four from AZ as he just completely destroys the offensive. And at the arch, AZ decides to play behind him in safety. That's going to allow them to wrap on toward our. Excuse me, onto. Inside and rightfully so, attacker is absolutely dominating. Finally, inside of the pit, they get something working. Remember, they weren't playing. Oh, oh automatic from top mid shuts down Kenny, and now he's got Apex pushing. There's another one. This is good news for G2, but automatic again. Green game ground. And hello, there's Electronic. Oh, there's the flash to confirm information. And that's one way to do it. Oh my god, it's a massacre, James. To do what he can. That's going to be frustrating as well. Yeah. Throw, that throw was a, oh, that, there we go. No, okay. That's a four-man ramp stack. That is, like, hard countered. Yeah, okay. Ooh, yeah, that's Ooh. pretty sick. He could have actually had the fifth one there yep. right away, yeah. too. That's pretty nuts. Come on, let's see what plan Fallen ждет. So, his opponent is Smaka. Выходит Rain, выходит Ziz. Получает оба по шапке. Один против всех. Nika. Попробует сейчас отыграть раунд, когда бомба стоит. Разбирается Тью Тукей. Бомба, кстати, неплохая. Догадывается про Фера на Зиге. Но тут нужно играть очень грамотно, потому что со всех сторон перекрывает ему Вижен. Он до сих пор воюет. Фер там промахивается, не рискует, не может выйти. Как же мантит этот Ника? Бомба, напоминаю, стоит. Фер подставляется. Ника остается один на один. Он тащит этот раунд. Это, Это эйс. Эдвардс мог быть готов и ожидать. Simple, though. Just doesn't seem to care, Matthew. He's throwing the rulebook counter strike away, and he's completely lighting them up. This is unbelievable. Oh, he's giving them another chance. This was beautiful from Glaive. The response from Naf, though, a nice shot onto Zipnix, and he's just biding his time. This was the tough part. These are him in a one on two. Got to clear out the aggression from Dupree. Also keep his cool and spot the aggression. And I'm not even playing. <laughs> HK, Zion. Oh, it's Zion. Oh, Whoa, it's Ben it's Tet. Ben Tet. He showed up to play. He's not playing support anymore because they're going to lose. G'day, mate. <laughs> yeah, how are you going? Mo. Mo hit a shot. Ben oh, Ted hit ben another Ted. shot. He's on for the ace. Let's oh, go, buddy. Mo's dead. Solo and Glow left in the... Oh, that's a good pre-fire. He's really low and he's getting pushed from Don't even worry that. about it, Pilly. It's Ben Ted. It's oh, Ben Ted. It's the ace. The ace. Oh, big once again for Cloud9. Good job with the CZ and this is the one. Just trying. Oh. <laughs>
Так-то тут попытки сейчас. Четыре шорт. Вот это ликвиды могут удивить. Есть авик, есть калаш. Попытка захода. Твиз забрал уже депса. Ну гусе фагри. Открывается на двоих. Получает плюху. Лол. Брикс забирает на твиз. Твиз закрывает Брикзи. Два в четыре бомбы. Бриксы минус от Итана на разве на твиза. Все, раунд проигрывает. Position for now. There will be the force by of Simple and Co. Hello, open things up with the scout. That's now sports already achieved 50%. Of the oh my god, I'll get back to that in a minute. No. Inferno against SK Gaming. And he might have gone one step further as he gets his third kill of the round. Peaked if he does, it's a free kill. Skid will get that first shot. There's the peak from Happy. Oh, the adjustment! Skidoodle turns it into a one-on-one. -on -one. He's able to turn it around. Nine HP. And Happy misses that kill and puts RPK into such a tough spot. And this is patience. The time is low. Seven seconds, five seconds. Searching for the kill and Skadoodle just hiding. Here's the footsteps and he's trying to buy the time and he does it. Skadoodle, that is an incredible performance and another botched opportunity for Envious. FaZe have to get a move on here and Nico leads the charge. Oh my goodness, what is that from Nico? Bintek gonna do what he can. 1v2, he's able to find the first. Nico with the hat trick. And a fitting way for FaZe to reach match point 50. Right then, what have you got for us? Nitro, that's gonna be a nice starting frag. Can the get out fast enough? It will isolate one player at the very least. Nitro with a fast peak and a fast frag. Can't see the player on the high ground, but the communication is there. You can see him looking all over the place. He's scanning like a Dalek. But he can't get another frag, not just yet. That's a nice one from Tarek. Okay, Nitro, all over the top. Is that an ace? Ну что, видит JX, спокойно его забирает, попытка установить бомбу, вряд ли кто-то из Ренегейтс этому помешает. На зубах, кстати, Я не могу понять, бомба. почему так медленно Я двигается тоже... игрок наверх -низ. Я не знаю, там норвежец просто, ну, супер слоуплей делает, у него было сейчас все, чтобы да, сразу оказаться на, топ, на точке. Да, он топать, но вот было понимание о том, что где находится Оскар. Ну, знаешь, Оскар сейчас уже начнет догадываться о том, что, скорее всего, его просто прожали со спины, и тут вот гибкость бомбы должна играть основную роль. Но она не совсем под него, и все, Йокин Нова находит за нефтью. Понимает, он где тут находится. А вот это ошибка! И второй спалился там же! И не слышь, вот это шок! Это просто Оскар! Could this be possible? Rops is gonna try and play for time. He works his way around the edge, kills one, goes in for the second. It's all on Henning, and Nekis dies, sorry, and it's... So, simply, one on two. Доставай это снесу, не снесите фрустрацион ухком лассен. Den Typen einfach wegknallen. So, man ist jetzt hier im Pit. Simple im Pit. Was hat man in Utility? Man hat noch eine Molotov. Man kann eine Ecke ausschließen. Und sie rechnen damit, dass Simple hier aggressiv kommt. Ja, das ist normal so sein Ding, irgendwo aggressiv hinzugehen, das 1-1 zu suchen. Und Simple wartet einfach nur Richtung Side. So, wie gut ist ja, das da Timing? Molotov kommt rein. Simple steht aber oben auf dem Fahrrad. Das heißt, er radelt einmal weg und der zweite sitzt. But it's Skadoodle to try and spray through on the defuse, oh! and he nails Taco. He's got a real chance against Bolt, but Bolt immediately gets oh, back on it. No! And Skadoodle's not fooled. Uh, Guardian doing the same thing with Metsu Device and Fella. So the Peter come in, and now Kimber play with the point. Oh, by Shay with it. Oh, here, oh, that monster. Quickly, but unfortunately, when it comes to the execution, it falls flat on its face. Fallen as well, not looking like himself from the previous Cirque. map. And Sirk is having What? a field day. Sirk just smacks them all out the server one by. One Ben oh. finally puts a bullet through Stewie's brain. Picking up bodies until Simple's activated from the apartments. It falls onto just the electronic and his back already exposed. Oh, but he's managed himself two kills. Sees Valence jumping across. There's the third. How about a fourth? It's only automatic. And electronic, like a ghost, was not spotted for whatever reason. The peak is there, and so's the frag. Electronic with a fourth. The forest. 1v3. They're gonna tap the bomb, and Force has full control. He's about to toy with these kids. Taking down Marky, oh. taking down Freakazon. He's gonna be going for taking it. down as well. Uh, toward Banana, little does he know that Banana's an open access toward B. But he's gonna get planted. Oh my goodness, Flamey. Any one of these Astral's players very easily. And there's Glaive. They've all been neutralized just by the Flames, but that's a good entry. But they're all so low. And Glaive gonna get another one. And he's gonna finish it off. The CT spawn and Dennis gonna get isolated and even just get right. Wins his 1v1 and drops the bomb, but now he's in a 1v2. I don't think he knows where other two players are. Fair. All those down to 10 HP. He just the fact that he's alive towards Ivy means that Fallen can work somewhere else. 
Come on, Fallen's on 50, 68 points of health as well. This is very, very crucial indeed. Fallen has no idea. Get right. Can he get the flank right? Yes, he does. He prevents the ball from getting planted as well. And now it's a 1v1. Fair versus get right. And get right. The clutch got himself. And he's going to again reposition himself. And Fair have, will have no idea what get right's going to be coming in from. And Fair, he's just waiting. Thinking Get Right's going to be playing from connector. He has an inkling that Get Right might come from IV as well, but at too many angles to check, and he needs to land a headshot to win this out. And it's going to be oh. Get Right. What a god. Finally, MIBR actually starting off on the right foot here defensively. That's the bomb gifted right to the feet of uh, Kiyoshima. Trying to creep in. They know they've got him locked in, but there could be someone else there to help him out, and that's just too much. Her with a quad oh kill. Yeah, 1v4. On. 1v3 inside of the save bombs that effectively does manage the first and the second. Hampus, maybe. He wished him good luck and he might make it happen. A 1v3 now for Hampus from inside the site. Now leaves it in a 1v1 with Excurip. He's managed three or four kills he needed to win this round. He has to bomb down. He's not ready for Excurip round on short, but he's played this perfectly. Wrapping round through long. Excurip without a kit. Clears out the bomb site. Ampus is wrapped all the way back around, and there was no faith that Ampus could pull this back. And he's going to manage to do it, Ampus. Damn, Ooh. Dennis. Another one. Nope, not yet. Guardian's going to have to clutch this out 1v3. It's got a little bit of spacing before the construction will be pushed. Ooh. Molotov denies that. This yeah. is awkward, though, you know, like, where am I safe? Yeah, you know, quad's a place, you know, it's where they're going to expect you to be, but and it's a place you... What? Whoa, oh my god, through the wall, he just decided to shoot. And it is just Rez. He's got that USP. Poor guy. Has to do over his Oh! oh Woo! Really great. Rob's standing at the edge of it. Oscar getting a kill, but it's still a two versus one. Coming in from behind, Oscar with a great kill. Oh, and he gets the last one too. And this is just falling apart for Optic. Too focused on mid, and they've given up the round as a result. Whoa, Cajun B with a chance now for another couple headshots. He's spotted and pinched from both directions. Adren can just play with his food, right? No need to overface because if Cajun gets that kill on Catwalk, he can fixate the entirety of his attention over here towards the site. But no, oh my God. What? Cajun B with 7 HP in what would be an astronomical clutch. But time is the issue until he picks up the kit and he's got the smoke on top of it. Adren might not challenge, but he needs to get on it now. And it's just shy. Five seconds the difference. Adren's going to come in. <gasps> no. He's tapping, but no way. Cajun B with a pistol round clutch. Stuck here. They're committed to it. And they're working off a very Lacks him out of intel. Hiko finally spots one, but Ward L on the repeat. And Heaven takes him out. Ooh, Kadian, Kadian finds a tree, but he's only got eight seconds left. No time. And he knows his opponent's going away from him because he has no time to get this up to the site. Oh, Tempts that's it, but it. not near oh, the oh, oh, oh my god! god! Kadian! Oh, <laughs> time, and he's still sticking to it. They're almost going to be pushed in. There's Oscar, the third kill, and that's great stuff. Simple. Gotta start making noise now. He's got to do something. You can hear the rotations. Simple might have his chance. He hears Rob's come up. There's the kill he needs. It took a bit longer. That's going to pull the next player back. But there's a chance. Eight seconds left on the clock. Stiko presents himself, and they're going to do it. Simple just won this round for Navi. You should not be allowed to be this good at the game. Absolutely out of control. The fact that he had the grenade out, the fact that Stiko had all the health in the world, he was not going to die to the grenade either. And oh. Simple going to come up with the ace to clutch the round in favor of Navi. Just a godlike player. It's just Kallax. This has to be the 15th round. He's trying as he might. This is the first instance where we've seen some, some removal from the dedication from AGO. I think they'll come right back into their respective roles because, I mean, we were talking about the discipline of AGO. It's like, oh, they'll stay right in their spots. They finally leave that a little bit and they get punished for it. This is a 1v5 turned 1v2, ladies and gentlemen, against two offs. Oh my goodness, it's a 1v1. Snatchy alone. AGO blinked for a second and just gave up that dedication to their spots and gave Kallax a chance right here. It was a 1v3 for Space Soldiers. Now it's a 1v1. I thought it was 1v5. My oh, no, yeah, you're right. Yeah. What am I talking about? Excuse me. Uh, mistaken here. Oh, it's bigger. Kallax. It's bigger than this. Kallax now needs the ace. It would be a huge clutch, but a punishing one too. Because even though he might win it, 
and he does. An impressive ace 1v5 clutch. Enough trying to see if he can get it. Almost takes down Ethan and the follow up from Electronic. Long range spray and maybe a bit too long. They are just running in one at a time, Navi, trying to see if they can be the first to maybe make this happen. And Circus finally got enough of it. Three good kills of the round, a quad kill for him, in fact. And now Seuss, the last one left. Can Circ get that ace? I feel like that would be consolation prize at this point. They're looking for it, and he's going to be able to pick it up. So it's there. I misread the uh, the angle of that giant yellow line. Here he goes. Not aware that Cold Zero is around the corner. Or is he? Or is he? The no scope, but he's going to get the plant down. Two seconds. He's got to stick it, but Fallen chasing him down. He's still alive. Flight from Catwalk with another no scope. Guardians pulling it off. How's he doing this? He's got the line up. He knows where he is. This should never happen. He's got him locked in behind the pillar. Guardian, one versus three. The flick does not connect. And Swag is still alive. All the pressure right now on Guardian to try and get this last round in. Can it happen? He's still alive. And now he's running back into Kitchen. It's going to be so frustrating right now for MIBR. Another shot rings out. And he's oh going to no. go for the full defuse. Like this. I think he's got it. Guardian is not close enough. And the defuse happens. Swag able to save it. Ставится все-таки. Рейн падает. Кромен ставит пакет. Ника умирает. Кромен остается на пленте. Mm -hmm. Разваливает двоих. При этом Тизиан, Гардиана просто в полете. Но Кромен, что он? Эй, oh. будет делать? Он уже квадро сделал килл. Остается один на один против Тизиана. Молодая звезда команды Фейс сейчас очень сильно может помочь своему коллективу. Один на один. Тизиан проверяет комнату вверх-низ. Он пока что не догадывается, где находится Кромен. Но он периодически чекает позиции. Тизиан, что ты творишь? Топает, Зачем же ты боже. топаешь? Ой, Тизиан. Но он уже не раз отличался своей не самой уверенной игрой в подобных ситуациях. Тизиан, боже, флешки кидает. Что он делает? Боже, Это эйс! Дабер в сильной позиции. Он получает дрифт, он получает дрифт. О, мой Ланса, это квад, как бы, хедшотс все вокруг. Ace helps out, но Dapper. Перед МП-5 работает. Но трейд фрага, но Грим приходит, чтобы сделать вещи легче. But Cold Zero back out oh, of there. What? Fantastic. What a flick. No! Oh! Get him out of here. They're done. Sim down. It looks like Liquid will keep their head above water for a little bit longer. Or will they, Device? Maybe able to submerge them once again. Starve them of oxygen. He's got time as well. He could play some mind games. He's found himself Nafly. He's only one bullet away from death on 10. Now that he's been spotted, any bamboozlement will have to play second fiddle to this bomb plant. Flash and smoke over towards highway. He spots more players and he's gonna get the frag. He's on one health. Here's the one HP dream real once more. He's picked up three kills. Taco, huge advantage in terms of HP. But he's about to get pushed. The device is gonna get it done. Mirror им пришлось бы открываться из-под этой позиции Тося. Один на шарте. Спрей божественный по Элику. Можно добавить. Закрылся за бетонкой. Шаттовый второго и третьего. He's done it before. He's got the deagle out. Oh no, Dragon! What is that? That is absolutely insane. He'll step out to find one. It's Cold Zero versus 300 HP. And Cold is absolutely capable, but he's going to have to be damn cold, ice cold, frozen all the way through. He'll find Zeus and keep his HP intact. So with 42 seconds, how clever can he get? Molotov doesn't do much on the fountain. Probably trying to just keep him away from planting it, but he had no anticipation and no intention of doing so. Oh my goodness, this is so sick. Simple, alive as well. Cold Zero gets the bomb down. You know he's capable of winning these ones. Two kills to his name so far. Surely he can't pull this one off map. He has to consider behind him. He's not even looked yet. They're getting closer and closer. Miss oh! shot! Miss shot! Oh my god, Cold Zero! A cold day in hell! And we go more! Simple missed a back! to his favor. Hellraiser is running the clock down and trying to exhaust Liquid. Okay, Liege, that's a nice one tap from you. Only two players on the B-bomb site, so maybe there's a chance here, but it's going to be very difficult. And that's already, well, Liege is going oh to town. God. Oh my god, he's just crushed everyone on the entire team. Not much to work with. He has no kits here and the AWP. He might be able to get one kill here, but surely he'll be traded out. Oh, he sees the head of mages. That's a kill. He can go for the quick scope here. My god, Ball has done it. He pulls it up, he finds the kid, the defuse, that's definitely happening. Taking down Lecro, and now it's on Forest again, one versus three. Didn't make it work last time, they smoked him off as well. Somehow that's the bomb with eight seconds. How can that possibly happen? Now running for the smoke on the other side, four seconds left, they're gonna go for the bomb plant. Forest making it back out. Oh, they don't get it in time! They hurt the steps! 
they both have, have kits. Smokes. Yeah, right. Both have kits, both have utility, and they're going to get a rifle, thankfully, because Edward's going to go down on the stairs. Chris will switch. He doesn't. He's actually going to stick to the AWP. Surprisingly, they want the double op set up to go for it. Oscar's down. Chris is on the smoke. He's going to be bullets. He's going to be bullets. This is how we go. Oh! oh! Electronic shuts him down in the last second. Fur has been creeping and crawling his way from B. Now, it's a one versus four. It is highly unlikely, but he is now one step closer to the unthinkable and an upgrade. He'll swap over to the USP to try and mitigate this distance, but there are three players. Oh, oh my god! Make that two, possibly just oh. a one! Fur, the unthinkable! Manais is already home, oh. but he's gone! Fur! Yeah, long shot there. Fur gonna go ahead and take down the mice. And here comes a spray off a of catwalk. Lay picking up one, oh, two. Wait. Can he grab the third and potentially win this round for Astralis? I don't know. He's gonna have to run and stop the defuser. Oh. He does it! Ladies and gentlemen, Glaive has found success! You get with matter, the mad late lurk. <laughs> All right, he doesn't have a smoke, which is a bit of an issue here. Did the uh, energy gamble completely? Did they only have the ram guy and then they fell back? Like, was it only really? Fog I mean, Fogley got boosted, right? Wait, did he? <laughs> How the hell did he make that work? What? Oh my Okay, pulls out of position. Oh, that's a nice click. And they have no idea. He's there. What is this? What oh, is oh my god, so Krim! What the hell? If I'm not mistaken, this one just closes out on Forest. It's all on to get right. First kill goes his way. Stick goes low, which means getting Oscar. He's given himself a chance, but he's Ooh. lost track of where to look. Nearly got caught out in doing oh. it. But he runs and guns, and the CZ will do. On the CT side, they were really struggling. What's Lee's doing? Very dangerous. This is looking at the phase that, that we know. Guardian pushing in, quick scope onto Twist. The pistol's out, finds Nitro, finds Nap as well. Oh, and in the air. That's stunning stuff from Guardian. Nice to engage, but he'll be dispatched off pretty quickly. Tizian taking a shot, hiding, getting his reload in, just trying to be the bait. I think he's probably doing it. Крис же против такого еще коннектор забирает. Господи, Крис, что ты делаешь? Минус три. Два на два ситуация. Крис дальше идет. Еще он его забирает. Нитро падает в итоге. И пятый oh, тоже. Что происходит, Крис? О, oh, жесть. GW. Does he fancy getting back up on top of the balcony? He certainly does. He wants that AWP in the best possible position. And he's going to need to be. Guardian already with the kill against Flusher, who wanted to get aggressive because of the HP. Good find from JW. They know oh. where he is, but JW's quick. His third in the round, it's up versus up, and Guardian has been absolutely electric in all of this series, but JW is certainly on to it now. Guardian's tapped, it doesn't matter, JW's earned it. And but what more does he have to do? Grabs Bomb, and he's gone. But he's not, it's a fake. He cuts down the numbers by at least another kill, and he has so much time to play with. Electronics feeling curious now. Jame could actually circumvent this if he does head down the ramp. He's going to get this false confidence that B is open for the taking. Electronics just playing in response to the bomb plan. But Jame doesn't have to plant at B. Oh my god, imagine if he lurks through to A. That would be so next level. It looks like he's actually going to do this. Flamey's aware of the possibility though. But even if he's aware of it, it's going to boil down to the timing. If Jame can find him with his head turned away, then that's one thing. If Flamey resides in the side of the ladder, then that's another. Jame is honing in on this. Jame is walking forward, and now he's on for the one versus three clutch. Avangar again with a chance, but how? How does he get himself away from this? He's going to climb the ladder, you'd think. Electronic may have just been fooled by this. He takes the high road, and Jame not yet spotted, but he's just working his way around. He's got the info! He's got the shot! Jame, 1v3! He has an after plan, but still the element of the surprise plays to his favor. And now Alu shows us his flavors. The first one being a clearing of the site. Taz up next. And now there's only two. Maus and Manis. Both coming up that ramp. Alu's just holding still on the angle. The target presents themselves. He's got himself another. A one-man show in Alu. This is for the commercials. 
right through the wall. Бомба стоит под шорт, но здесь просто четверка. Ты открываешься, у тебя четверо смотрят. Что здесь делать? Наверное, ничего. Алмазер! 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 Минус пять! Братишка в спину ворвался просто! Not too much to work with. And this is pretty much a full investment with Amanik finding the opening kill towards mid. Nicked away through the B apartments. Both players op spots one inside of the kitchen. Great kill. Looks towards short now, but it's Percy. He's been so impactful in this round so far, and he continues to do so. Three kills on him already. Amanek with two. Would have to ace to win this for LDLC, but it's looking likely that Sprout are about to win a round that really they had no right in winning. Great kill from Amanek, though. He'll definitely try and change that fact. He's pulled it into three kills for himself, looking for the last two. WP. Doped in as he's dancing around the boxes. It's a quad kill from Amanek. Last player is Favin. He just has to find one more. And Favin, he has the angle. Hops up oh. on top of the box, but Amanek. Angel som uh, vill lägga sig. Kanske hittar boxing på övre plan. Och det är nästan så att Jessan skriver fram där ändå. Ska Angel kliva in och göra någon soloprestation här också för att plocka upp ytterligare runda för... Hellraisers, ja med den där no-scope så finns ju chansen där Krims väldigt låg med 10 HP men tyvärr börjar tiden ticka från Angel så det kanske blir lite väl svårt men han kommer sticka och jaga, han kommer jaga och han sätter lite där skottet i pannan och han har defuskittet också, jag vet inte hur Fnatic förlorar de här runderna Much, he's gonna at least grant them that but now he looks to try and clutch, finds the first he knows MSL's below and does so much damage leaves him on to just 8 HP and has given himself a real chance here. Pushing together, AZ spotted, and Bundy gets the second what? through the coffins. I didn't even think he knew he was there. Oh, I mean, the same as the last, maybe there's a chance here, but it's a two versus four. He'll get himself one. He needs to do all of the work, but he does actually find a second. He should know that AZ is around in the pit. Pop flash comes out, leaves him blind, but he peeks back in. Bundy's found another one. He's only on to one HP, but he's given himself a chance. The fact is, though, he has no idea where Kyrby is. Looking to come back in from behind. Now, if Bondic walks through the smoke, he should find all the information. And hang, he can. He can oh now take this God, back Tom. over towards the B site. This round is going to get close, almost as close as Bondic to his monitor, as we're going to have Kyrby looking to try and wrap around in a moment. And in fact, it's going to take him so long to realize where the bomb is that it will actually be ticked quite far. Bondic has to try and play this perfectly. He's got one oh, opportunity. Kirby's still not sure if it's A. He goes back to A. Yeah, he doesn't know. The time will now tick just that little bit longer. Only with one HP. He does, of course, have a kit and an incendiary. That's going to be the big factor here. If this is thrown into the corner, I think that may be Bondic dead to rights. He needs to dodge any of the flames, but it, it doesn't seems... actually go. It doesn't go off. That could be the biggest problem of Kyrby's life. He taps the bomb, but nothing's going to be spotted, and it's ticking past. He has to find it, and oh Bondic gets the God. kill again. A one versus four, a deserved high five, and Bondic is carrying them through the last few rounds. Kirby snuck by Cirque, who's going to fall at the hands of Al. There is just Breezy left alive, but he was the star for NRG just yesterday. He's going to try and do it again, and Breezy is just feeling fantastic right now. And huge as he holds towards the vent. Yeah, Cirque, everyone talks about him. Here we go. Oh, what is that shot? Cirque's oh, God, no. Three. No! Surely there's no way! I'm trying to see if they can do it. Cirque with a heroic save, and Ethan takes one more down. Oh, my God! Last possible second, Electronic up on the high ground. He's not sure where Ethan is going to win the round. He saved them. Triple kill. One millisecond left on that defuse. And he's going to try to stay honed in on this. Doesn't want to give up his angle despite the utility and the flames bursting at his feet. But it's Esperanto's wrap through smoke that gets himself a double. Damn. He has three. And now the force should follow suit. It does. How about five? Have you got it in you? Oh! Absolutely. Woo! Player is towards the A site. He's backed up by Daps. So, finds the first kill. And now Daps spots the players towards middle as well. And they've already lost the Dren. What a man to find. And Ethan now at long. They oh. all line up for him. Oh. He's going to manage the ace. Oh my goodness, Ethan. It's not looking good for them. Kadian trying to find some kind of balance somehow. Gets sidelined by Daps. And Hiko out in the open finds two kills. He still has two more in front of him, though. Finds a third and a fourth. Hiko! 
Yeah, this is pretty common though for G2. They don't seem to use these smokes and that's going to be the issue. Chris J catches one on the cross. Luckily, G2 still hold on to the man advantage, but Apex, he's been spotted. Sneeko going to try and get the frag, but look at the damage done to two of the players. This orb's still though going to hit a one shot and that'll be to Apex. Oh. And a follow up oh. from Chris J. And now the 1v1 misses the follow up shot. Looking for Kenny S. And oh, Chris, he's going to get the no scope. And the, oh, is he going to bring out the knife? Oh, I can't believe you've done this. JW gets himself all three to close it down. He's actually doing a very good job here. Valina finds two, and Kenny has left in the three versus one. This round should be done. 20 seconds remaining. Bomb down towards Checkers. He is good up close and personal with the AWP, but how strong can he be? The quick scope doesn't that? land, but that one does. How does that first one not hit? Just catches the edge of the doorway. 10 seconds. He spots another. He's given himself a chance. He will absolutely go on this. But don't rule QB out bomb. of this. He's planted in the open. This, this is unbelievable. immediately fast on that. And all he had to do was peak tree. He knew he was going to be going toward A. He must have got the call that he didn't have time. Yeah, definitely. Because Boomich backed off. Now, I guess that gives you the lesser of two evils, the one you know versus the one you don't. This guarantees a one versus one clutch rather than being caught out before the plant even happens. He thinks he's but a spawn. Op versus M4. And Kenny might outplay them on this. It's a fast shot. Now Boomich knows exactly where he is, but Kenny is very quick. Boomich going back for an off angle. Kenny's able to spot it. Three HP as he gets away on the AWP's bot space. But Boomich is going directly toward Ooh! Kenny. Yes! Up close. He's looking to fast split over towards his site. Nice setup so far, but Crims is here ready and waiting. Already three kills for the man himself. Four from Crims. What a start to this game. And an ace. Kicking it off with Crims. У него есть понимание, что Зевс где-то за дверью, а вот где находится электроника, он не знает. Бомба устанавливается, Мир откидывает флешку. Электроник, кстати, идет с той же позиции. Мир ловит Даню Зевса. Почему не вместе? Ну, поторопился Тесленко. И в итоге Мир тащит этот раунд. Посмотрим, если Прай может вернуться в этот раунд. Потому что, снова, еще один энтри кил от 5 Пауэр. Минези, знаете, вернуть его к 4 на 4. Сделать это 4 на 3, как он чаймит его с другим раундом. Off starting to work out. Cabal spots out one, two, lots of info, and one frag goes his way before Minis going for a triple. He's trying to single handedly carry them into oh. this with the fourth one through the head of Dobu. He's only PTC alive in a 1v3. The bomb is out of his hands. And look at this pride. They want more. Minis gets the ace. Is the setup. Majiskin was well toward benches, yet to move. Nails now, no mistake about it. Taco's not even aware where that came from. And Majis oh finds a third, a fourth as well as he catches out Twist. He could start this off with an ace. It would be hard to imagine. Nitro even gives him the chance as he gets glaved down at the very least. Bomb committed to the site. No chance to retreat back for Nitro. Majis, crowd's crawling for it. One versus three, and he nails it. That is a beautiful start. A blade in hand. And Mertz in a clutch gets the first one, anticipates this kill, and he nails him through the wall. Yell's got 10 seconds, or Mertz rather, excuse me, and he's gonna just try to end. just play the plan. He's got it. Now he's just gonna be fighting for his life. A caged beast with a missed no scope. A second one lands, and Mertz. Oh no! No way! Got it! Go very good at controlling this early parts of the map, and MSL are also challenging towards Snatchy. I kind of feel like maybe they should go for a more conservative approach. When I go, are just going so wildly for this. Let them waste their utility, play more defensive angles. You know you have Mixwell on the AWP. Certainly has the support of the crowd behind him. Wants to try and get more work done. And Mixwell, a fourth, has to ace it if North want to hold on to this round. Toa misses the opportunity. He's given Mixwell a means back in, and you can't afford to do that. In this little elimination. Three deciding. Mixwell double down. Oh my goodness, he's fully blind, but he's still putting up numbers. Mixwell's absolutely incredible. Oh my goodness. Look at him go. The ace for Mixwell. Walking through here. It'll be a huge clutch right now for Naf if he could pick it up. That's so bold for Glaive to plant there. Naf could have peeked off Catwalk and stopped it. They had the information, I think. Magic might have heard a footstep, but here he goes. Gonna try and pull off a miracle, but these angles are just so far away and he's got nothing to use. And you might as well just stick it, I guess. Oh. And actually, oh my god, he might just do it. A mistake from Astralis gives Lip with their knife. Oh, and a miraculous headshot to follow. It was his only option. Not one just yet. This all moving in, and the tag is not gonna be enough to find a kill, but it's Nork with the Deagle. 30 a frag so far, and he's not stopping. It's a one-on-one -on -one now. Nork's done it. Keeping existence, Galaxy, in this round, keeping them in this game, and an eco from existence, but they pick it up nonetheless. There's Device, the opening kill, Magis builds upon that, and Device isn't going to allow it. 
But here's Rain, two more kills, and Nico to add in, and suddenly, how is this turned around? Device to Debris at low HP, it's a one on two. And look how low they are with the Deagle. One shot on either player could pretty much seal it. Nico close at it, he sees it, gonna get the kill. Does he realize he does not? Oh my god, Nico! Shot though against Esperanza, taking him out of the equation. Nuke comes out of left field though to move in, and goes right back to Connector for another. Oh my god, and then he finds Mir, oh my god, and then gets Harvick too. Side here we go, pro, orp, headshot, takes one man down. Back in for the flick in the second, can't play the with the third face is enough. And see side players so close to him, quick scope spots the next man, and Pro going absolutely ham with the ace. The bomb is going to go down here towards B. Pronax. Already trying to come in from behind here. Doesn't quite work out just yet. Does find two in the end though. And with that three on two situation, as there is still one of these three players for King Gwyn, that's going to be Rallon all the way back towards T. And he himself, he might just come to the party a little bit late. If Makaleli and Pronax are able to find these frags, it's all going to be down to Pronax and Rallon to come in from above. He is going to be taken out. Pronax to take the round. Refresh. Looking for someone to peek, someone to make a move, give him anything, and there's Stewie. Can he do it? This would be a nice little thing to have. And, oh, that's a beautiful shot swinging out on a Tarek. He knows there's one on a ramp. He knows exactly where Fallen is. He's looking for Cold Zera, looking for information. And he's just going to take the risk. Knife out, sneak through the smoke. Oh, and he could fool them all. Cold Zera is ready, but Refresh has been on point. Here he comes with the peak, and he's going to find that kill as well. Fallen has very low HP, and the B bomb site is wide open, and Refresh might have just bought himself a beautiful clutch highlight. This is absolutely unreal. Like, I thought he looked very panicked in that one versus four. It looked like he was trying to cover five or six different angles at once, and somehow he got three kills. Perfect aim every single time. And now Fallen sneaking in with a very low health here. And AWP as well against Refresh. Now hiding behind the truck, that bomb planted plain sight. He sees it, and he's going to win the one versus four against MIBR. That was not Angel. That was uh, Isa shooting through the smoke, but OBJ down. Arky frags it back, but the loss is already being cured, incurred. And well, that Fox and the one on Arky. Roman with a double. Not yet over. As Vox can bonding. Oh! Okay, Roman takes down Bolling. Oh my Roman. God. He won't mind that though, just pushes right past it. The Toll versus Ricky. Ricky trying to extend it as long as possible. Out of ammo, Ricky jumps out of the way. Oh, Ricky! Whoa, whoa. Pressuring Rops right off the bat, pushing him down into the lower bomb so They're not going to stop either. I don't know. I don't think he's aware of this. He's got the angle. Did they clear it? Great headshot. A second one. Oh, Rops! It's domination in ramp room. Flashbangs are good. He's going to try and make his way forward, but he can't find the spray down in time. He does manage to kill Skadoodle. Hansel's also picked off automatic. It is all down now to rush with the Galil on a one of four to keep them out of elimination. Going to retrieve the AWP as he makes his way to Nana. Two, a moment, two members here. He finds one. Sicko just going to be trying to buy time right now, just dancing around the broken wall. Rush is watching the line. Beautiful flick coming out from Rush. They're sticking the defuse right now, but no one's covering him. They can't get the kill. Rush, you can't be doing this. You're absolutely insane. Now down to a one-on-one. -on -one. Imagine it's just going to tap it once, and Rush... He's just going to let it reset before he peeks in. Imagine has to stick it. Rush, he's going to peek in. He's going to get the one on four. Stuck at the top of mid here, but pushing back Hats, he's going to keep them more honest. Rush picking up Alistairian apps there. And he's hidden long enough. The bomb is flying out in the open. They can't get the trade. Imagine's actually got a two pick. Sicko just through the edge of the barrels. Automatic will be locking down this angle with the AK-47. Liaz. Oh, Sicko. That is absolutely beautiful, but down to the clutch master himself. It's Rush in the A bomb site. Two low HP members. That's the headshot on one of them. Hats and Sicko, now they know where Rush is, he's going to be dropping a bit of utility. Double or retake head. though, Kev. It's a double. Oh, has to switch out to the M4. They're not. They don't have any utility whatsoever. To use Sicko is going to be the bait, but Rush once again. From, was that from Simple over from the top? Ivy. Oh, okay, from Ivy. Okay, that's good. Simple now on the clutch mission. One v three. There's the first one. Two more to go. Not sure if he saw any of Forest there. Maybe a question mark on the radar or something. Ooh, Get Right has no idea that Simple could be flanking. Is he going to check the bomb train, though? He's checked Connector, but he's not looking at the bomb train. Oh Look, my God. turn around, do the 180. Surely now, surely now. Yes, there it is. Oh, hello. <laughs> and off oh he God. goes. He knows that Forrest has got to be around the A site somewhere. Rotates quickly to B. Side plant as well. Could be anywhere. This might work out well for him. Forrest has picked up an AK, though. Both strong aimers. And uh, simple. Will you expect this IV position? Pop dog position, rather. 
<laughs> oh. First shot. Electronic goes to his right once again. He does and manages to survive for the time being, but eventually they will be eliminated. Simple now. Last man standing two in the red. Now it's Lecro with nine HP after two super fast frags from Simple. He starts to take the bomb, but he will not be allowed to. That is graffiti, it. but he won't make anything. Rain's the one doing the spraying. And now down to Skadoodle. He sees the trajectory. He needs to escape down towards short. He knows where these players were. He saw where that grenade came from. His teammates can tell him as well. He has 30 HP. He's got no grenades. He's holding a tight angle. Guardian is so red. Not expecting it. Skadoodle, there's one more to find. Skadoodle's got nuclear. Four kills for him. Damage. The nade might collect one as they jump inside of the site. Device needs to be aware of that fact. And this does indeed collect. Device goes to the pistol, it's all under res. One on three, and Astralis looking at a 13-1 scoreline. He can do it though. Res in position with Device looking oh. awkward. This can absolutely happen. Magus now one versus one. Res has looked so good on Trent. I think he's going to pull this one off, Matthew. He absolutely does. USP toward jungle gets the first shot. Immediately followed up in the position by Simple rotating So in. scary. He's got one, what a second doing? snap. Unbelievable Ooh. from Simple. They tested him and he prevailed. Snatchy left in a 1v4. Hiding in this smoke. He does dispatch of mix while still so many players left to deal with. The bomb down and out in the open. And a 1v4, now 1v3 needed from Snatchy. He's been spotted, they know where he is. The jiggle peek in from short it was MSL to spot it. Smoke enough Snatchy, he's gonna try. Going through, that's risky business. Throws in the Molotov. As we say, they can dodge the resets for, uh, for a while, so anything he can take away from North, he knows is worth its weight in gold. Shots rallying through. She just waits. Now we're gonna start to peek into this. A man down in the pit. That's MSL, has to deal with AZ. Snatch, she taps down some more, and it's Kirby left in a 1v1. Snatchy rounds the corner and he's gonna get it done. Four kills. Side of Banana, they leave just enough of a path for Stewie to get on top of the sandbags and get flashed in. Lovely lineup as he takes down three. Bomb dropped as well and he's not done there. Dupree's next in line. Smoke down will disallow him from spotting Zipix, but you can forget your reset. Bomb sighting. A lot of this is gonna come down to Chris J and Stiko. Stiko's able to find two though. Makes up for Chris going down immediately. And now. Two, kind of stuck on the bomb site. Stiko's got to take full advantage oh. of that. Oh, what a free fire! Oh. <laughs> what an ace to cap off the round. Stiko doesn't even matter though, as his teammate Didi's there to clean up the pieces. Just impression now on the one versus three. Eight seconds left on the clock. The bomb has to be planted. It's going to go down just in the nick of time. Impression thought maybe he'd done enough. Tried to hide away. That would have been a perfect play from him. Had the bomb fallen out of reach of Tai Lu. He's going to find somebody as well. He was the star back on Dust2 for boot. And he's going to manage another impression. Looking to put the impress back in his name. As he finds himself now in the 1v1, a time ticking down. And Didi left to overthrow. Impression charges in and he's going to find them all. The defuse looks to come through. He has a kit, so he's going to have time. Остается Керриган один в четыре, и капитан команды Фейс Клан вынужден тащить Татранд. У него есть диффузы, нет армора, нет смока. Шансов, конечно, очень мало. Керриган все еще пытается сыграть здесь. Да, опять же, нет армора. Надо манцевать, стрелять. Уже три хедшота прямо здесь и сейчас, но походу у него ничего не получится. Хотя ладно, один приезжает на стю и но время все еще идет, часики тикают. И Керриган, скорее всего, не получит свою пенсию, хотя холод, воу, близко, но холод палится, что? Мисс, that shaved his pubic hair, was so close to his crotch, but yet didn't get a kill, JW is gonna get them all, though, as he walks through. He's the perfect herb. Moxic takes down himself, can't hit the second, and Cabby, not the type of guy you want to play against in a clutch. He's done it before, might do it again. Last round of the half. One versus three turned one versus two. They come in from the same area. And he expects them coming from short, which is exactly Ooh. what they're going to do. Hit the first hit oh. and the follow-up. Although, 
will be delivering a nice defense to kick things off. Does get traded out in the end. Only going to give more chances here to SK Phelps, though. He can't quite find the play as the smoke disappears. Okay, out comes the Deagle, down to two health. Crim's the last man standing. Fur goes down around Taco. He can't get it done. It's up to Crim's now. 15 seconds. He's got to pick up the bomb, and Fallen has the angle on it, so Crim's says. Oh, Crim's. Ever dependable Crim's. That is a massive round from him. He gets the 5k, the ace! Right, an IP, and this, of course, the exit is just next level play. Так. One tap. Uh -huh. Не, ну это был дабл тап. Это возвращение а, типа, это возвращение Лекра, нет, не, не, он в любом случае проиграет этот раунд. Да. Или а подожди, подожди, он может победить Лекра! О, боже мой! Every single shot is going to kill someone somehow. There's no kit anywhere. He takes it. He found it. And he's going to go for the defuse. And now he needs to be denied. No, Mervit, you don't fight this. Mervit finds this. What's wrong with you, Mervit? It's going to be pixel sniffing, Ben. Face right in the monitor. Finds the frag. Eliminates Yell. Falls back towards the site. But can this mighty moose keeps it up? Misses the second shot, is able to find himself the double down though. The adjustment on the third as well, as he flicks around, that was very nearly the fourth frag, and he will eventually get it. Time and now it's just left down to this AWP on A, the solo orp, Nork. He's found himself the first. They chase up short, but Nork's gone back in for more. He's found himself the second. Can Nork do this all on his own? Yes, he can! Four kills for the Swedish Orp. Yeah. У нас пока тут вторая пистолет начинается. Ник на зеле делает минус по Фрайбергу. 2-3 кила у него уже сейчас. 4 кила. Ника 5 килов может сделать сейчас пистолетки и спасти свою стату. Да, это эйс от Ника. He can get the bomb, he can plant in time. He's got to be swift though, very swift indeed, because otherwise he's screwed. He's going to go for a pretty open plant. This is very interesting. If he can get into a post-plant position, this does become winnable. <gasps> Oscar gets one more, and now it's just me who left. He's got one HP. Surely he can't make the one HP clutch work. Oh, is he, he going it. all the way around? He did plant all the, all the way open. Oh my gosh. Me who is... Suspicious. Oh. oh my god. He actually still went halls. He is oh so... Oh my god. The balls on this guy He's still walking. He's still walking. The madman. Oh my god. What an absolute beast. Could do this before, but this time he's been discovered. He has the frag! He has the frag, and he gets only one! Holding the angle once again, but does he go high? Does he go low? It is a dance, and now they concede multiple angles. Tarot going, takes all of Bicer down. Guardian on 11 HP. Rain peaks, and he gets the angle now. Superior angle is there a defuse for the CT side. The non just yet. They're spamming the grenades. They're touching the bomb. And now goes Rain. And now the bomb is trying to defuse it again, but no! Guardian gets taken down. Absolutely unreal round from Cloud9. And the score is tight. Big macht hier extrem viel Schaden und es geht noch weiter. Das Tizian hier mit der Glock kommt ein Auftritt. Was Tizian? Irrecoverable. For some reason I can't talk. Taz gets the headshot either way. Actually, it might be recoverable as he is going to push back over. Metal is trying to defend it. As he will go in with 30 seconds remaining, he needs to be rapid. The lightning strike from Taz. Taz annihilating. Everyone is going down as he has rolled back the years, Ben. He's done exactly that and left himself in the one versus one to try clutch out the round. It would be a huge play from Big Man Taz, and he gets it. Back it up, so five power. Gonna play aggressive once again. PTC in front, but Twist gets the first frag. PTC trying to return fire, but Twist keeps the AWP train. He gets himself two and the third and the fourth. Looking for the ace, and he finds it all. And it's up to Tommy to try and find some headshots here. Might be able to deliver a couple, but he 
And rise to the occasion that actually gets all three. What is going on here? This is absolutely unbelievable. Sat in the corner. There's only 20 seconds left, and his teammate AZ falls. He sprays the first, the second just around the corner, but actually jumps. It helps him out a little bit, even able to turn back, and he gets all three. I don't know how Hellraisers don't trade out that kill, but nevertheless, Valde does the job. Simple these last couple of rounds has been lights out. Uh, he's so hard to stop. Zeus is going to be going down. 40 seconds. Oh my god, that's the bomb as well, Wardell. No! Oh, I guess it. Are you kidding me? Or is it going to go to 10? Because it gets bombed down. It means this AWP can start to become a massive threat as they do work their way back in. One at a time, that AWP certainly can be a threat. Oh. And he hits all three. The only other player alive with them has the same weapon. It's a double off setup. And they know they're low. Out goes the Deagle, down goes the bomb, out comes He's the AWP, and in goes Ty Lue to the final. What a way to win the round with a double up clutch. But now look at this aggression coming out, exist. Oh my God, he is around every single one of them. He's just got around the back lines. This could be the downfall of this round if he can play this just right. One down, two down. That's the bomb gone loose. Exceptional work from Exist. Carrigan there in the back lines as well. And this has fallen apart of the seams for Astralis. He is the man you do not want to be facing right now. What a play from him. Still down. There'll be one in his face now, but he stays forward. That smoke's a little bit deep. I think Stewie had an angle. Magis still finds the shot in return, oh, wow. Fallen. He's gonna swing this perfectly, baits out some shots, tries to get a pre-fire from Zipix, does. That gives him away the location, and now he's got Magisk as well. Brilliance from Fallen to figure out exactly where they yeah, were. An off angle, meaning they can hold this defuse, and he only gets one. Fallen, fittingly, finds his fifth, an ace in the round. Snipe somebody long range with the USP, they're rushing straight into the hut and out to the A site. Already getting knocked out of it, twist, ridiculously, four headshots! Shutting down all of FaZe Clan. Where is your super team now, Moses? Quad kill for him, looking for the pistol ace. Oh, headshots, he's gonna he's get fast it. Fast pace, and if you don't hit shots immediately, you just die. So if he doesn't get those three, four kills. Towards two losers, which is likely considering the buy, and the buy's finding an opening pick. Could set them up for a couple as he gets three kills. Device is just a maelstrom right now, hitting absolutely everything. Five on two, bomb down. And that should be it, Harry. He's looking for a bit more as well. And he's probably going to get it. Device on for the ace. Just rops. He'll wait towards outside. And it doesn't get much better than this. Oh, my goodness. Device, that was just beautiful Counter-Strike. Players running and overwhelming him as Olaf in by the wall. At the bench position. Good headshot on the second kill toward Captain Moe. Triples on that as he takes down X Grip, making a fourth on somebody. We might have an ace as he looks for Vintet, who denies it. Instead, now he's caught. Second player peeks in through the connector and a nice bait on the site from Order. But Nico, two shots and two kills. Oh, Nico! The aggressive push. He finds automatic. Rush on that quick flank, as mentioned. He finds one. Stiko on the flank as well. He gets taken down by Ace. He's burning. Oh, he Ace hit the shot. Burning. Oh, Wait. Ace! To go. Smoking deep. He's behind it. Gonna take the frag, get an AK-47. This is possible now for the retake. They have a big flank coming in. Oh. Another one from Alex. A third one from Alex. He's coming in from CT and wreaking havoc. Yeah, this is now something doable. Alex isn't done just yet. Yeah, we are going to see the Do you think Mertz had a kit? Looking to extend, maybe he does. There was a few other players around the site, unless, of course, they all walk away, which is exactly what's happening. There's only Dead Fox left, and there's a kid onto the site as well. If he gets Woxic, maybe there's a chance. He's just going to go for the defusal. Sitting in the smoke, is anybody going to be able to stop him? As he gets the oh clutch! My God, what not is again? that? Oh, he's going to be able to stop him. Oh, he's going to be able to stop him. Oh, he's going to be able to stop him. Oh, he's going to be able to stop him. Oh, he's going to be able to stop him. Oh, he's going to be able to stop him. Oh, he's going to be able to stop him. Oh. Una entrada rápida en A, cuidado con esa flash que es buenísima por parte del jugador de Hellraisers, que era el del punto, que era, si mal no recuerdo, Angel con la primera, con la segunda, con la oh, tercera. Pincho. Angel con la Faiseve, que consigo trabaja más. Cuidado, cuidado. Cambia por rápido, es 50. Cuidado. Ay, Angel, Ace. Ace Ace This man keeps on scouting his way from position to position. And what's kind of scary is from Red Reserve. I mean, if they don't pick up really those 10 rounds, it might look a little sinister for them. Because the reason for all of that is Red Reserve in all the UML matches always had something like a 12 free, 13 2 half. Yeah. And from that point on, you have a comfortable, uh, an extremely comfortable start, lead, you know? And, and the, the problem that then occurs is that if you have something, imagine we're having a possible 7 to 8. Yeah. This is where it gets disgusting. The Dublin. Right awareness. Right timing. Nobby. Never mind everything else. It's tracking alone now. 
One versus three. We'll look a lot. Oh, that's a lovely headshot on the first player. Trying to continue 1v1s and somehow it has fallen into this. What on earth has happened to this round? He was on his own. And now Edward's on his own as well with 10 HP. Next bullet wins. Robert von Linen, next mit dem Headshot gleich mal gegen Flamey. Tapsen dreht sich kurz weg, aber er tradet Electronic, kriegt die AK in die Hand. Da kommt der nächste Kill von Tapsen. Der rastet komplett aus. Waiting, there's almost no time left. He's just hiding, he's just waiting. With two seconds left, he's gonna be standing up, getting the headshot of one. And that might have been absolutely perfect. Taco getting the quad kill and saving the round. Brilliant play. As well as he could, but he ran out of bullets at the end. Rush gonna be taken down, Fallen. And Terrigan Cold Sierra are still here. A lot of people on the bomb side. There's the headshot from the Deagle. And the bomb is in front, eight seconds. Oh my god, Tarek, what are you doing? Take. No one has seen anything just yet, but Taz gets a free frag. Flash timing comes in as well. Might just die off of it. Mouse trying to go for the peak, but Taz stays alive, finds the AK, goes for a second one, gets the third one as well. G5 Taz is going to finish it with a one bullet, four frags. Era Elise, se la pega también, madre mía, como está el Checo. Y al final Twist que quiere abrirse camino, se lleva a por delante, pero está uno para tres. Está muy complicado, pero acaba con Chris J. Ojo, ojo, ojo con Twist, ojo con Twist, madre mía, Twist. No one dying. Valdi now trying to get his way out there. He's going to take down Breeze. What else can he find? Oh, man, he's just so good, isn't he? Valdi's going to get a plant, a one versus three situation off of the back of this. And he's looking to try to see if he can bend out another 1v1. He's got time to play with. He can go lower as well. So smart, Valdi! Executing one more. Two more players to go as he flashes the vent and falls back. Looking to go for the plant upper now, knowing that he's not safe from heaven. And knowing that one is in the vents. And he's seen him, and that's Cirque now having to fall back. He can't quite take this engagement, but he can try to take the attention to now Fugly into the bomb site. Fugly is waiting for Cirque to run all the way around. They want to make sure they do not throw this one away. This is a 1v5 here for Valde, looking for the ace clutch. As that bomb ticks further and further, closer to detonation, Valde with another P-kick. Another headshot from Valde. He's perfect so far. One more player to go. He hasn't taken any damage. My god, Valde is an absolute god. Sneaky on in. Six seconds. This kill's going to do it, but Wardell's covered his teammate. The bomb's down. There's a player pushed up on short, and Kusta doesn't realize, but I think Wardell's heard the scope. They've even spotted a player further back. Two out of three of them given away to Ghost, but the frag is there for Kingwin. It's just Wardell, and we've seen him do this before. AWP in his hand, back of the apps, and the bomb planted for him. He predicts the next shot, but he can't land it. And he even hears the footsteps. Oh! Wardell, it's a 1v1. And he's one kill away from the 4K. And Dragon goes through this to equal up the scoreline. Deagle out, shot tag. But Meniz, he's realized there's no time. It's over, Wardell's done it. Let's see if we get out of regulation or, oh my. But at the same time, they're very wary as to where Woxix got off to. He's gonna peek off Truck, nails the closest player. Still, the bomb's been planted, and Bondix drop with a headshot into Dead Fox the moment he rounds the dumpster. But this is on Woxix. Four kills already, looking to close map two on the ace. He taps the bomb, sees the shoulder, and Flamey's oh, down oh, oh, for the oh, count. Now he's back by the pillar, and looks like there's gonna be a lot of people coming for him. Gets a shot and makes it back around the corner. It's gonna be A going down instead. Next crit now. He's gonna have to hit every single shot. He picks up one more. Quick for the oh, double. There's the triple. Oh Whoa. my god! One more. Misses the no scope. He wants it and he's gonna get it as well. You've gotta be kidding me, extra. Surprising to bet against them in pistol rounds. And well, it started very well for Cirk. He's found three kills. Looking for a little bit more. He knows the Zeph is around this corner, and that's a second through the smoke. What? Okay. <laughs> what? Zeth has just turned this back. This is a, a round where he's now trying to top Cirk. Looking to try and get all five kills. He has to do everything to win them this round. He's got to be careful because they're looking to peek in through the corner. He's obviously got the box to cover him off. And obviously the CTs want to try and peek this one together. The P250 can still work in a bit more of a spammy fashion, but... Oh, he's going to hit it! Oh! Whoa! There it is. And there is the second one. Back to the door. One player is blind at the very least. Armanek dead. Oh, they're lining up. He's going to 1v1. He's down to the ZZ. Is he really going to save this round? Swanu on the low oh. round. Zipex. Out of this one. Good kill for Android, but again, just finding a hard time getting onto the bomb. Ye with two incredible kills there. Picking up the AWP and a bomb plant will be huge on top of this. Surely not. Surely he's not able to pull this 1v2 off. Low HP, 12 health. 
Thankfully, no nades. Smuya coming from behind. Ye has to get aggressive somewhere. If you sit and wait, it's not going to work. Oh, the missed shot. He's got the first and the second. Don't worry about Steel does open up 22. Getting double peaks. Zywu finding one. And just like that, the AK is the retreat. But will it get out? Yes, it will. Zywu gets another frag. Zywu's already here, charging on in. And oh, he's going to find himself a third. The youngster, the new boy on the block, trying to make a name for himself. Zywu's going to find absolutely everybody. He's going to get the ace. Literally 360, yeah. the guy. Like, oh, no. Ooh. Let's play this little angle. I think I first saw Doja use. Alexa B going to get dropped. Woxic actually on the SG in this round. X7 answers back. Ooh. Oh my goodness, where's this come from, X7? He has insane aim. He's on the same level as Chrome and also Rain, just aim wise. But he lacks experience. I mean, the guy is very young. And as I'm talking about, it just interrupted the Seven. Sevis, what are you doing? It's not going well. Oh, at least said TK gets a kill. I was wondering if he could go for some trigger discipline, but he decides to get the AK, and you can see why. ZTK needs to win this fight as he finds another. Back to a 2v2, ZTK! Oh my god! Action towards Squeaky Door, Simple takes care of that. One versus one, Zipex is doing it again, Vince. Edward up against him. He's currently in the lobby right now. Zipex seems to be aware. He thinks that Edward is in towards the lobby. He goes to the fake plant, perhaps. <gasps> Edward thinks it's slower. Oh. It's all gone wrong. He still thinks it is. He's fully committed. And oh no, he's realized, and that could be it. Zipex waits for his kill, and it will be delivered. Smokes, and presumably flashbangs coming in next. It's a device for the season. Oh my god! It's the pistol, and Mages helped him out. They might have done it. Three kills at the start. It's a four on two. Mages surely goes down here, but he's holding so strong. That is absolutely epic. Unplanted. Time ticking down. Carrigan, it's all on you. He's able to find one. Surely gets no more as they force on into him. But Carrigan holds his ground. One HP. And he's locked in an eighth round for FaZe. On the top of flashbangs, so it should. Oh. Can he get another one? Ooh, twist. Able to take down Stewie towards our side. This is getting more and more awkward. Twist! So much damage done here early on just from the utility. Oh, Alex sneaks in. No plant going to come in. AZ's able to reply, but is it going to be enough as he's now in a 1v3? Just waiting around. He's hoping that there's going to be another player that will push him from the back. He's got plenty of time on his side here. But will he spot Amanek there just through the smoke? It starts to fade. Hamanek might have seen him be scoped. The spray comes in. AZ walks away with one. Two more to find. And there's no need for him to commit to this. I love this. Drops the smoke down. He made a bit of noise as well, like he was heading towards the tunnel. He's going to go in for the plant. They can't even both push him because he's got one AWP in play. AZ on for trying to clutch this round out and move north to match point. And this would be a huge one. This would be an ace to get it done. LDLC taking their time with this. They've got a flash, a molly, and a smoke to work with. AZ not in the most, like, defensive spot, but he's still very cautious of a player coming from tunnels. They now begin to make their way into the site. They're lining up for him. So much damage. AZ gets it done. Oh! <laughs> and they finish up with a P250. Oh, he's got to be smiling about that one. All too hard, then. Oh, boy. Death's going to get it all done. Double MP9 kill. Stanislaw now emerges from the top of the planter. Tries to continue on with the spray, but luckily Shazam is here for complexity. Batten's gonna swap out the AKs. He's sitting on three frags. <gasps> Could up. get all five. Gunning for the ace to secure OT at the least. Android walking forward. There's no longer a gap in the smoke. And Batten doesn't know which way he's got off to, but he will prioritize plant. And now his gun's back up. Oh my God. Oh, this is going to be a very un, un, uh, unreadable position. This is good move from Batten. He had the 1v4 clutch on Nuke. Now he's gunning for the ace in the depths of this second map. It would destroy Complexity's cache. It would leave them hanging out to dry, and he's got it! Keep guns going, he's passed up around, but they don't have the utility, so the fast upper pushes are a lot more dangerous. So 3 really from Mini's doing a great job. Cool. Right through that tiny, tiny little door. Mm, a nice little mid nade stack. I, I want some people to die. I want nades to get killed. Oh, <laughs> it's done. no, a missed shot from Cold Sierra. That doesn't happen very often. He's isolated back here, still getting a kill, but they're just penetrating this chicken hut very quickly. 
Simple gets one on fall and he tried to knife him but changed his mind halfway through. Cold Syrup, one more kill, the knives are in, what's happening? Simple! The clutch smoke comes in and there the push. Spray down, surely for Dapper. One, two, quick, easy. Third one as well, will he get the fourth? Dapper will complete it, quad kill for him. Porque no, no voy a poder oh, pues va para adelante a la bomba de B. Glaive que no consigue llevarse a Defox, a Isa, perdón. Defox que la ha cubierto perfectamente. El húngaro que recarga esa... M4-4, el spray oh, es caen, bueno, el spray caen, es bueno. Consigue dos bajas, se queda solo Magix y Sipis. Sipis que va a caer también ante el fuego del M4-4. Va por el ace, se lo lleva a Defos que consigue las cinco bajas. Y rush play. Grenades come into a ton of damage for the CTs. And Magisk will get two frags there. Both headshots, of course. Zipex can't really afford to challenge that one, Matt, because he knows if he loses that bomb, the round could be done. Simple, though, still alive here. Looking at multiple frags flashed up. They're not trading him straight away. And this is where he does most of his best work. Defense when they go for the defuse at all. Oof, I just won't get that far. Long electronic has other ideas. He'll put that back down inside of Sandwich. Flamey works back out from CT. Drops the one he punishes. It's just Oscar and Navi looking to get back to back rounds, which is perfect because this will avoid the reset. Big gap in that smoke. Oscar would love for them to overstep the mark in it, and they do. Flamey caught off. Give the man a shout. A minute to work with, and it's Oscar. Yeah, absolutely so. So they have got the bomb. Oscar is going to be patiently waiting for that smoke to go down. Currently, Electronic in the Ford's Palace, Edward at Jungle. So they have got good positioning. We'll see whether Oscar can do anything with this. Maybe he wants to get to the AK. We'll see. Oscar taking everything that's given to him, but Navi is willing to concede and allow him that movement. Gets toward the bomb. Didn't actually pick it up. Don't know that he's aware of that, but he stepped immediately beside it and didn't grab it. Now he'll realize and go back for it. He's lost a bit of time. Made some noise. 13 seconds. There's no chance he wins this round. Running it to B. Yeah, I, I don't think he gets there for the plant. Eight, seven, six. He's going to commit to it. Edward's going the wrong way. He's missed it. He's, no, he's, ooh, got it. he's got it right on four seconds. Unbelievable that Oscar gets that down. He timed that to perfection. I think a little bit of luck in doing so. Fair play. Could have easily been caught in the net. Could have easily been caught oh. in the window, but he's not going to get luck on the first shot. Misses out on Edward. Tagged down to three HP. That might have won him the round in itself. They'll go together. They know he has the op on the site. And he's going to go back for more. He's still in it because the AWP, if he's fast enough, can absolutely take down Electronic, who has to play this very, very cleverly. No kit to work with. And Oscar will buy time. He's going to play the pillar. Swing back out Electronic. Oh. Caps it, Oscar! He absolutely nailed Electronic. That's unbelievable. What a player. It's really interesting to see what will happen in the uh, coming seconds. That's a great snap from Paz. Very important. Out comes Antares. Gets nothing. Down to Paz. Picks Rush out the air. And now another one from Paz. What else could he? Oh my goodness. Paz. Four from him. Absolutely unbelievable there from him. Oh my god. The ace. Freiburg actually in fire. I didn't think they'd expect that, but PHR managed to find that kill. Nico pushes out, finds two, but now it's just PHR, 1v3. Spots up the first one, finds the second. Oh, what a flex! Oh my lord, PHR, what in God's name was that? An ace from him. Crossfire in play, Barbar gets killed, Plopski 1v3. He's got himself the first, that's the tail end of the caboose, and other duels picked up, but it's Stan off of the bomb. And now he's picked up that kit, which had fallen off of the teammate. Time so far ticked already. The next tap. Oh! Nico going to be dropped, and that leaves Rain alone to the forklift here with the A bomb side, the sole defender. And he gets a great headshot start off. We're taking down Refresh, backing up into the middle. He's fighting at every single angle in the rain. He's going to pick up one more kill. Solid defense from him so far. An automatic on the other side with the pistols out. Rain going to be able to save. Shot Reed still within the corner. Not going to go for the peak until finally he does it. He's given a display of headshots. Peak into the vents. I like that. This three-person after plant could come back to bite them. Dennis can't manage to get the kill off of the flash, but Rez is still up and Rez oh, is gone. No oh, way! Пошел налево и угол деф ему контролит право. Минус от Рики. До этого кучу разминут в пользу команды комплекс. И последний Рики. Он СВП прыгает туда-назад. И не дайте ему выйти в смог. Только не дайте выйти ему в смог. И он выходит в смог. Забирает будущего бомбу. И они не могут успеть. Это провал из... Excellent follow-up. Three shots and three kills from Rops. 
He'll finally subside and go back, but he's looking for three. Happy's going to be taken down through the wall. Or PK looking to return it. He's got two. This man is insane. It's a 3K. Bombsite secured. Coming up through heaven. Oh, the nade in hand. Or PK, take your weapon out. There it is. The headshot. Rush вышел, потом не хочет второй, также залетает Rush. Что творит парень? Один хп остается у него. Ну ты что, товарищи, может убить флешкой. Господи, просто да, реально флешкой можно убить. Смотрит пока что, пока ставит бомбу. Один хп действительно остается. И да, там два человека на банане. Это же прям, это один же в четыре буквально. То есть двоих забрал. На одном хп можно забрать последнего. Просто чувствила прям, и Раш стоит, как настоящий Сэм Фишер, солит сме змей. О, просто шок! Please, for the love of God, somebody make it stop. Simple. Oh my God, he lined up for that shot. I'm not even sure if he saw the second player. There's a quad kill. He's already got one. He's gonna get the last one as well. Lobby, it's now gonna be all on Skadoodle. One player down towards CT. Oh, he's gonna buy it. 15 HP. That should that be hurts. the deal. Skadaddy might be Skadon for in this round. He takes one, but he's never finished. Fake plant goes for the peak. Oh Second my lens! What is this? Is this even real life? Oh, yes, that's Skadoodle. Skadoodle. oh my god! Out of control completely, in control, and well, there's a couple of kills back, Snappy. Later, he hides behind the door, just playing bait with it. Oh, oh he finds two kills. Snappy's gonna win this oh. round! And that's the ace for Snappy. We're gonna start things up with a kill each, and it's looking like even trades across the board right now. It's like three on three. Oh. And Stu with a big 1D collateral, oh. and a third oh. one! Oh. Connector, Taco trying to find rocks. A wall bang comes in, but he's traded by Stiko, and that's the bomb dropped. Yes. Now Chris J can come in for support. Well, SK have the time to at least contest with this bomb. They're gonna have to move quickly. 30 seconds left on the clock. Cro uh, Cold Zero finds Chris J up in the palace. And now they're gonna split from both Ramp and Palace to try and get this bomb back in their hands. Stiko's gotta go big. Second kill from him as he finds the headshot to Cold Zero and a Molotov still to delay. If he throws this and runs away, he could easily win this round. SK might not have the time for this. I think he's realized that. He's stopped them from picking oh. it back up. He's run back to try and contest on the bomb site. He'll get there before them. Fallen has to get this entry. They don't even need to worry about the bomb plant. They need the kill because Stiko's playing the site. Nine seconds left. They don't know he's here. Fallen drops the bomb. Stiko, yes, he does it. This is going to be a timing, isn't it? We're just rushing it. He gets shut down. Maybe they think it's going to be a save electronic. In the middle now, Sub Rosa and Cooster. If they can hold this two on four, that would be huge for Ghost Gaming. They're in trouble. Sub Rosa instantly with the spray turn, ready for it. He saw that coming. Edward is down. And now it's a two on three, but they're so low on health. Can he catch him jumping with the grenade in hand? He does. And now Sub Rosa. Out in the middle, one on two. He can barely see the bomb from here. He's got to be careful they don't block him off in any way. No one defusing yet. No kits either. It's going to be a long time defending. They see it, but Simple gets the kill. And so Rosa finishing with the ace clutch of... CT Seite, mal gucken, ob sie das hier gegen Navi auch... Kapsen mit dem Brett des Todes. So, Edward. Unterwegs. Zumindest die Antwort gefunden, versucht weiter in den Raum Richtung kurz einzunehmen. Da steht man mit drei Leuten, die Flashback hat perfekt reingeflogen. Und, und da Hapsen ist Hapsen wieder, wieder mit dem nächsten hinterher. Jetzt stehen sie zwei und den dritten! Und der sich auch noch, die Bombe ist getroffen. Und jetzt nach vorne zu schleichen, dann nimmt er sich super viel Zeit. Oh, das ist so schön. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, da noch. <lacht> das ist Bomb down. Es might be otherwise, they are going to see another round. And Shuri will be called upon once more. Tarek's going to allow the headshot though, but there goes Sunny. Now Oscar, close range with the orb. Maybe called on to get the final frag. Misses out on that chance and Tarek goes in. He's already been pulling out kills left, right and center. And he's put himself in the debate for potentially taking this round. Ooh, a ridiculous watch! Clutch. And he's landed onto Chris J. Mouse Sports are somehow letting this slip and Tarek's done it! An unreal play! We're gonna see Hampus playing with the M4 while Twist is there with the Deagle. One kill on the board, two kills on, three kills on the board! Twist, what is that man? He's shutting this round down! Incredible! He's going for a fourth, he's got it! Are you kidding me, Twist? Well, he knows exactly how that plays out and expecting further aggression from his false back. Very well read. But look at Russell, he finds two Brolin and his counterpart go down. As it's just JW holding outside of a main, they're gonna put pressure on. My goodness, Russell. Oh, oh, he's got JW. There's a chance for the fifth. Tagged to seven through the box, but he's got it down with four kills to just one remaining. And he still has a teammate in nap. He's looking for the ace as they jump up, and he's got it. CT version of steel. 
still in one. Wardell, 1v3. Is he gonna make it though? Let's tap on the bomb, try and force not to leave. He's not on it. And the cramp from the pistol will be enough to take down Henny. The player up before he went to the door, but now it seems to be got an engagement. Oh, that is. Hitting the bathrooms there, and they will do so. Liquid will have twist push forwards oh to create space and keep the bomb planter safe. And that's exactly what happens. Finishing them all off. This guy wants blood, and he will get more of it. There it is. Да, Лоу сейчас зашел очень грамотно, и на самом-то деле для Воксика, как, как бы это странно не звучало, но контролировать одну дыру есть смысл, и у него спрей, и это победа. Looking for the kill, still 50 seconds on the clock, so they can they can wait a long time to recover this bomb. They're gonna smoke there. He rushes through, he gets the one. See, he's at 75. He actually makes it back around the corner, and he's gonna go back for it. That from the stair. Oh my God! Incredible for Liquid. More so now that it's just Epics. He'll step out, finds Taco. Clutch minutes through, they call him! He's got three! Oh my goodness! Zipix can't quite hold it. No, he's he's just it. barely. He might. You're right. He might with the time. He doesn't have a kid. I think Zipix has pulled this off. I think he has! A one versus four! And it's four four on the score! They think about next round, it's a fast B Ooh. and a couple of clean headshots with a 5-7. Not to mention the upgrade into the AK. Zeus looking for the fifth. Woxic just gonna get stampeded now. Pinched and pushed. He got it. From existence well to get done. a 5v3. And it's gonna keep going, so it seems. Except for Ye. You need to have that element of surprise and then the rapid reaction to clear out all three of these TPs, but he's got the first two and the third. Oh, yay from the pit! Attention, a triple shot. Zivu, peut-être un premier kill. Zivu, le premier kill. Et au moins parti. Double kill de la part de Zivu. Triple kill de Zivu. Attention, on connaît Zivu. Il est pas loin. Il a repéré un quatrième joueur maintenant. Il a l'information. Les deux derniers joueurs, premier kill, quatrième kill sur ce round de la part de Zivu. Il ne reste déjà plus que Plopski en situation. Le 1v1, il a repéré au niveau des stairs. Il va décider de ninja. Finalement, c'est un fake et le bon kill de Ziwu. Zipix tries to work back inside of the lobby. 25 HP only to work with. As the bomb will reach its logical so conclusion. Is he going to go for this? Are they still down there? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Place, no. oh, my, God. No. oh my, Zipix. Clutch Minister's oh, got a new sermon. It. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable from Zipix. He is the Clutch Master. Kills, though. Down to the two versus two. Flying beyond the smoke. Advantage is oh. Breeze. Big headshot at the end. Come to this point. 19 rounds for North. 22 for NRG. Great play from Breeze towards the end there. Swapping out for the AK-47. Two of them low at least. Moxic will hear all the footsteps well positioned, but he is so low that he loses his life. AZ with the chance to actually find an individual duel here if he moves quick enough. Their Fox is alone, but Bondic has now rotated in to defend this bomb and help look after his teammate, AZ. Not gonna want to push through that smoke, so we'll just wait a little bit longer knowing that there'll still be plenty of time after to make himself the peak. Both players, however, waiting around the corner. That's a great shot onto Bondic, though. Completely takes his head off and leaves just Dev Fox alone. Both players unable to connect these final shots, however. And there's only 25 seconds left on the clock. Dev Fox can just bait down this time. All he has to do is make it difficult. And in comes Woxic wants to the AWP. Angel kicks it off, though. Big first kill. As now the trade is attempted by Adren. Angel defense. What do they do? They have to take a huge risk here. And Angel is crushing. Back on B in case rotation is required. Oh Mir going God. wide. That's the bomb loss. That's everything. There are only 12 seconds left. And, oh, um, my God. That is it. By those blocks. A good flashbang in will net the kill for Antidote. Taking a bit of noise in a main, but a lot of utility being thrown onto the bomb site. Fog has been flashed out. That's unfortunate. Antidote, another big kill from him, and just players walking into his crosshair. He's going to get five kills in the round. At max. And even then, that's unrealistic to expect it. That being said, there's a lineup on the A side for Boston. Sonic, he's caught out in the open. No way he gets more than one with Stop. error made from Barbar. Boston now has to clutch it to keep this game alive, and he will do so. Sniper, вторая флешечка тоже, и выстрел. Нет, точная серка Пагри, потому что... Что? Нет, все-таки серк попал по баде, попал по смисту. Минус два, минус три. Как он и шинкует, какая же жесть. Grinder, that could be. Glock's inbound and an instant gush. They're trying to take down Cole, but he's just going to pop a couple of Oh, no. Taken. And Nuki to follow suit. Poor guy, never had a chance. They continue on, and Coldzera gives... 
Чуту, и как же сыграет Смитс? Вот он выход. Факли чекает и убивает еще его. И только сейчас включается Кенни, забирая одного с и дальше внедряясь. Но как же сыграть здесь? Пропускает одного, второго, еще и третьего. Можно забрать, здесь Нитон падает. Но Очень дыр... удобно. Энерджи внутри плента. Кенни, дабл килл через стенку шашлыком! Ого, Сиге, Уна, Дос, Бахас. Ну, ha sido una finalmente para él contra Wardell, Custa con Fagli y Custa que tiene que entrar 25 segundos, 23 segundos. La C4 que está caída en la zona de amarillo o cuadrado. No le da, eh. no le da. Sí le va a dar, lo que pasa es que no creo que le vaya a dejar Cercu. Custa que tiene que buscar la bala, ja, la consigue. La segunda que Madre llega, cuidado con la tercera. Wow. Y Custa que gana la ronda. Y вот сейчас еще грамотно на шифте можно, можно идти на бананы и пойти на Аплент. Это интересное решение. Времени хватает у нас у Кьярби. Он делает все очень четко. Не знаю, слышал Шикарно. ли его только что один из игроков защиты. Нет, его никто, никто не, не слышал. слышал. Смог... В итоге смотрим 1-2 клатч от Кьярби. Смог на хелпу очень был хорош. Вот который сейчас был перед лицами команды. Это вообще вот мое любимое решение, я точно так же люблю играть. Вот, 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 вот этот вот момент, вот. да, когда ты этот, под этот смог еще можешь уйти назад. И Шикардос, и согласен. Никого в спине нет. Согласен. В итоге бомба поставлена. Если вдруг проиграет э, Маркус, то это плюс 800 долларов на всю команду. Но Маркус может сделать этот клатч. Ой, сейчас. Раз, давай, ну давай, ну ты давай, ну ты даешь или не даешь? Первый, второй, туда да! же залетает. They might be in a little bit of trouble. Crims with a great spray finds the headshot on the third. Deagle comes in and Crims takes down four. He has to get the first kill here. I feel like if one of them go down, then that's probably the end of it. And Le oh my God, Lecro! What just happened? Turning around, four headshots in the space of five seconds. ХП осталось, он может открыться прямо сейчас в главке. Часть стрельба. Да, упор. Минус это того. Большинство боя бывает со мной семейта. Что происходит? Давай! So, und jetzt Nex hier mit hoher Verantwortung und sie machen jetzt wieder den Contact. Nex kriegt die Waffe auch noch und das wird die Bitterböse. Oh, super Flashbang und er zieht Boy, noch mal rein. Nex und drei, 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 drei. Nex rückt hier einfach mal komplett die Mitte. Er zieht rein. Und yeah, da ist das, das Ace von Nex. The 1v3 needed from the god himself, Nico, known for brilliance. And he needs to call upon it right here, right now. Device cowers in the corner, the shot goes off. Oh, he's got it! And now the 1v1. Dupree closing in, he's got the rifle as well, but Nico, you know what he can do. And he looks, he waits. Dupree etches forward, and Nico's a god! Playing just enough of an angle that Nitro won't be able to take him down before they get there. Can't quite get the time. T Ball boy, take it back. Bomb did go down, but Nitro got the shot nonetheless on electronic. Unfortunately, the bomb going down is significant because yeah. Simple and Edward can both fall off to angles that are unfavorable for Nitro. Yeah, he really had to deny that bomb. He let himself down slightly, but he might be able to redeem himself here. Lovely shot towards long. Simple low HP. He baits it out and he takes him down. Nitro continues that strong form. Uh, might be too big of a number to make those super aggressive calls work, Ooh. but... Oh but... my god! Ooh. Odorous! Oh my god! Odorous! The chance he will, because Nitro's gonna go the second and throw all up! Found the bombs planted, this becomes incredibly dangerous now. Oh, what?! Okay, ready to hunt. Doesn't really stick the landing, though, with the Krieg, and they have got a kit, but Oscar's so good in these situations! Oh! Рейн пытается пройти там дальше, убить соперника в спину, не получается отвиз, вообще закрыт, но Элижа потеряли. В этой ситуации Рейн забирает еще одного, господи, три минуса, возможно, четвертый против Нафа, да, это минус, абсолютно. Здесь Саша, посмотрите, что он творит, выход, одного засолил, корова, хорош, Саня, домашний просто третьего. Punaiselta ja nyt tulee jotakin. Sergei ottaa sit hyvin RM, joka koittaa hakea saa toisen Hevenistä. Kolmannen OB ja siitä kuolee. 1v1 Killdreamer vastaan. Sergei Killdreamer on tossa kopis. Kopissa ja Sergei nyt ei ihan tarkkaan tiedä, pitää ottaa S tässä kohtaa ja soluutan. Eko voittaa ja sit spottaa ja ottaa höpöi Sergeiltä siitä. And Sox is alone and on one versus four. How many kills is he good for? There's a player on default. He's got so much to do. The smoke is down. The transfer is there. He can jump on the high ground. Does he focus on the bomb? He's still being defused. Oh my god, Shox is going nuclear. He's got three kills and the deagle's out. Has he wasted enough time though? 
Oh, he has his one around. That's ridiculous, Shox. How on earth have you done that? To open it up, but still two more on the site here. 12 seconds now on the clock. Skadoodle getting one big kill. Knife oh. is on. He's going to take device down. Six seconds left, and Skadoodle, he may have just done it. A no scope to close it out. He's heating up. Jams it in. <laughs> Stick out. Ooh, Stick was jamming them all. He's going to break the glass soon. Little flashes in the crowd when you time the dunk yeah. right. <laughs> He's behind Red Crate, and unfortunately, device has outthought him. Still snaps back and nails. He's like, you're not going to spawn, bro. Zipix like, I don't want to give you the satisfaction. I can't get no. Oh, does he get there? Does he get it? Oh, oh. yes, he gets the ace. On imagine le Finlandais plein. Il y a un très grand risque désormais. Il porte la bombe. Fallon est mort. Très bien. Il en veut un deuxième. Il veut le 1v1 rapidement. Fallon d'abord. Colsera. Et ensuite, peut-être Stu, qui a 18 points de vie. C'est pas passé loin. Oh, il a pas vu les fesses. 10 secondes, le décal de Sony en courant. 7 secondes, Sony une balle dans le corps et c'est fait. Ce n'est pas de la part de Navi. Nous allons voir si c'est en quel point nous allons être. Le dernier frappe de lui. Il y a encore un avec Brolan. Il aussi se donne très bien, très bien. 3 à 1, samotné en twist. Il y a aussi un autre frappe de lui. Donc, tout le temps, il y a cette guerre. Il est sur deux défenseurs. Il y a encore un avec Zeus. Ce dernier aussi gagne. 1 à 1, Electronic. Quelle est la décision de la même twist Quelle est la rotation na bombsite B, tak jest. Właśnie tam kieruje się zawodnik Fnatic, ale tam też za chwilę będzie już czekał elektronik. On ma jeszcze smoka, ale nie będzie go teraz wykorzystywał. On już słyszy swojego przeciwnika. Ten też zauważył, gdzie on się dokładnie znajduje. Jest pojedynek jeden na jednego. No i Twist wygrywa w tej sytuacji. To jest... Twist może zabrać tak, bo Semfis odkrywa ten round swoim oknem. Potem robotuje Twist, zabiera Semfis i drona. Zatem że GDM zabiera te Lidzie, więc za Twist jeszcze i paka, ty ropada i Twist robi kwadrat, Twist robi Ace. 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 But it can't be done. A beautiful pistol strat from a United. Wardell gonna look to go for a 1v4 clutch. At best, he might be able to get the bomb, but even that's gonna prove difficult. Ace is being a little bit of a jerk here with the smoke, but at 5 HP, he crosses into the open, gives Wardell back the bomb. Now, all of a sudden, we're down to a 1v2. A jump out from Wardell. He's gonna try to flip back around and head to the site, and he has the 1v1 isolated. It'll be a quick rotate, however, with only 10 seconds left, too. Jumps in, finds the first kill. This is not gonna happen, is it? He's gonna try to put the plan onto the ground with one second remaining. He'll get it, but he's stuck in this box position. Jumps back out. He's gonna look for the clutch to go up against Moose. Moose has HP advantage over those. This is where this gets a little bit more difficult, but Moose has been unable to connect anything just yet. Wardell stayed at 49 HP this entire time, and he's wasting so much of it as well. Final allowed this transition, and there it is! from Wardell. So far away. That is Buster, who really needs to get into this equation, but Woxix outnumbered now one to three. Crucial kill versus Fitch. Buster comes downwards, and it's another individual duel. Krizen, he has one health. One health could make the difference, but it has to be a headshot, and it's got to come in now. Woxix plays with him to win a 1v3. Double misses the shot, trips himself up on the wall ever so slightly, and he's faked the fact that he's gone toward the bags. He wants Edward back out. He's got Edward back out. He's got oh! Shipful dropping. What a brilliant in play and accurate has taken down Flamey. My God, I'm a fan of this man. Oh, das war gut von Body aufgepasst. Ah, und dann wieder Kenny S. Oh, das sieht nicht gut aus für Astralis. 3 gegen 1 Situation. Ja, Astralis hat gerade extreme Probleme gegen Kenny S an der AWP. Und dann halt immer diesen Überraschungsspieler da noch in der zweiten Reihe, der halt Minimum einen rausnimmt, wie das ein Body eben geschafft hat. Einen rausgenommen, für Chaos gesorgt und dann wird das alles weiter in der Druck gesetzt, liest dann Zipex. Oh, schön gemacht von Zipex. Muss jetzt aufpassen. Eins gegen eins. Hm, Molotov immer wieder knapp. Damit liegt es an nichts. Der darf es wieder entscheiden. Und der hat schon so viele Entscheidungen gebracht bei dieser Partie. Für sein Team. Zwei Runden gehen auf sein Konto am Ende, weil er es klatschen konnte. So, da steht Zipex bereit. Der hat natürlich den Vorteil, Existence versucht da nochmal anzufaken. Irgendwer natürlich den Spieler auch aus dem Loch rauszulocken. Aber da macht Zipex nicht viel. Der pickt nur mal rein. Versucht da mal reinzugehen. Und am Ende... Potentially, I say, get more. He knows he has to 
actually be aggressive here. There's the first. Takes down Mages. The first of many, though. Good smoke from the CTs in response. The bomb ticks away. Tarek is on barely any HP. He gets one kill. Wow. That might be enough to keep them alive. It is actually looking quite good from LBR now as they can't find anything. Astralis are dropping. It's now a two versus one. The pistol is out. Device knows exactly where Fallen is, but can he find a shot in time? He cannot. It all falls apart. MIBR. Towards Monster, so his utility is not going to come into play, but Amanek, he just goes aggressive and he takes away the second prong of their attack. It's now just all coming in through that mid position. JKS manages one, but Amanek has just been a monster. We'll take all the force of my anger and frustration. <laughs> it sort of feels like that could be happening. Automatic oh, that's a beautiful shot. Second headshot, one more coming in, taking down Kerrigan on point right now with the Desert Eagle. 30 seconds left and he goes for a bit of a peek in the middle. The bomb plant is not down yet. Now he's picked up the AWP. It's going to be Flusher with the Deagle to take down all the pressure. And then, oh my God, Automatic. It's so scary because these rounds can just collapse like a house of cards. Oh, when the first player dies, and there it is. What the? That is incredible. See, Zed work, isn't it? Oh from Cold my Zero. God, he's aim, not dude. done just yet. That's three more players to go. Oh my God, is he just, oh, what is this? No, no, it's a low here. Ooh, better find that kill, bud. Steal. There it is. I'm trying to steal. Twist with the 3K so far in this round, making it competitive. Last alive, oh, bomb control. That. He's got a scout as well. I think he gets a little bit of a tag. What a shot with that deagle kill as he oh pushes gosh. through the smoke and he knows there's one more guy. Crosses to the right. I think he barely caught a whiff of him and now he's going to move up, reposition. This round is pretty much 50 50. He's on for the ace. The guy pushes through the smoke. He will get killed as well. I want to see the triple here first. Yeah, because we missed it a little bit. Damn. The third one's going to be oh, sick. Oh, yeah. man. Just yeah, such damn. a steady aimer. Oh, like you ever got your shit pushed in? Makes contact with Zipix. Keep in mind that. Hello, Glaive. Trying to get the deagle working. He certainly can. Arguably the best deagler in the world. As he finds two, looks for the third, and makes no mistake. Ну это ультиматик, хотя весьма променчиво. Если бы Моти стоял и чекал бы очень пожестче, то возможно бы и разлетелись на выходе. Но Кроман остается один четыре, делает два минуса сорок одно хп. Стоит вот, со. Заляра, Заляра с маком, все, да, тут хорошо. ФНС и Раш вдвоем против одного. Нет, ну Кроман еще может здесь э, откамбэчить. В принципе, для себя Молтов имеется флешку, можно реализовать под выход. Ждет обратной грейсичи, но команда Cloud9 сами просто ждут в дефолте. Хорошая позиция у Раша. Под него же стоит бомба в основном, но игрок на Тетрисе, который просто может... Удивить позиции, хотя и ФНС отреагирует ли на Крома, на Крома дает смачок, тут даже пытается отрабатывать ФНС, полицию позицию погибает. Ошибка. Ошибочка. А вот ждет для Раши. Крома Ошибка! Что? I... Chaotic situation here and far. Going absolutely wild with the Max 7. Comes down to the 2 versus 1. Automatic with 10 seconds as he takes a nade to the face. Has to find this kill, which he will. 5 seconds remain. And Taco knows he can... Def Stop the bomb going down if he went in just then, but it makes a lot of noise, and for no reason at this point. The bomb is planted. One HP on automatic. That smoke could save him. Watch the AK. Automatic has the headshot potential. The smoke could not only save him, but give him an escape, and Taco's oh, aware of it. It could be back-to-back -back halves in which SK steal back round two. He's what? giving a lot of time away to automatic, who's staying in the oh! smoke. That's quite good. Banana. Can he get kills? He cannot. And that's going to be a real issue for the terrorists now. The downside, though, for the CTs is they're all funneling in a very one-day dimensional retake. Crips, however, is going to get himself the first kill. Three on two with Dennis already with two kills. We know what this guy's capable of in pistols, but it's going to be the body block, the interference play to try and stop the terrorists from stopping this defuse, which is happening right now. JW still on it. Four seconds to go, and Dennis feels like this is a fake. It's not the case. Oh! And he's going to get the kill anyway. All the time, it could not have been worse for JW. A great kill. Now, this should be their round. Oh, but device is in the back, and you can do so much damage from here. You can see he can hide from the follow-up players. He gets another one. And Astralis, a two on five, and they finish it off. Ows. Gets one, but Disco again behind quad. is going to hold off. Look at the HP low enough that he can just mow them all down. In fact, it's going to be what was a four on one to Disco, destroying them all. Остается хорошая флешка. Дось отворачивается, пушит дальше. Ой-ой-ой, какой вантапчик по электронику. Показалось, что там хедшот, но хп это было совсем мало. Это эйс сейчас будет. Это да, возможно, эйс Это он. Михаил сейчас просто покажет. А Симпл, я так понял, думал, что 
А, Доси у нас побежит на плента, но не тут-то было. В итоге бомба стоит очень много времени. Должен потратить Симпл. Он идет просто на шифте до сих пор по А пленту. Он, конечно же, знает, что бомба на Б, но он делает все, чтобы сделать максимально тихонько эту свою комбинацию. Но в итоге в этот момент да, времени уже Хотя, очень может быть, знаешь, что эти где-то валяются. Они были у Зевса э, в малых песках, но при этом есть флешки у Доси. И это, судя по всему, Эйс, друзья. До сих пор Симпл да. не подобрал дефузы. Симпл просто-напросто уже уходит. Идет на Досю. Дося отбегает. Ну, Дося, остановись. Давай, Эйс уже О, сделай. Нет, О, нет. Точнее, остатки команды Астралис. Ну и здесь от Дюпри. Минус. Правда, погибает Зипекс. И... Дюпри. А Дюпри тоже умеет в клатче, но бомба как далеко лежит. И, кстати, so да, но и по ХП к Ярпи и Эйзин буквально один патрон с калаша. То есть ну их двое, есть. но они на размен должны просто играть грамотно, вот и все. Ну да, хотя у нас соты вылетали на девайсах в прошлом раунде, и большую часть хп каждый потерял, оставку. У них пример... Они, кстати, потеряли, по-моему, примерно сколько сейчас как раз таки у Керба и Эйзи. Да-да-да, да. да, да, да. Ну, может быть там чуть больше оставалось, в принципе. Влетать в линейку точно сейчас нельзя. Слушай, ты, кстати, они обходят, помнишь... они обходят через мидл. Да, ты помнишь, как играли сами Астралис в подобном раунде? Это был, по-моему, самый первый оружейный на первой половине. А Дюпри сейчас умрет. А Дюпри спалили. И просто вдвоем идут и Эйзи. Нет, это Дюпри, который делает эти два фага. Это... Зюс is the victim. Edward, though, spins around. Like a turret for headshots on days. And Ethan's gonna go down last to the barrage of AK rounds. Breezy against Edward. A huge HP advantage, though, to Breezy. But Edward's feeling it right now, Vince, and he might just be able to finish this one off. That is absolutely unbelievable. Feels like a bit of a repeat here. Nearly gets the follow-up. That was so close. Get right now. Bit under pressure here. Electronic gonna hunt him down. Get right gonna take that fight. He's willing to duel it. But another headshot for Electronic. 1v1 now. Could be the 1v3 clutch. He's spotted him out, and there it is! Electronic! <laughs> Ай-яй-яй-яй-яй, Дюпри, Дюпри. Дюпри успел забрать двоих. Ну, правда, Элиш успел выйти со спины, забрал сразу же Дюпри, наказал девайса, тот его не ожидал. Эксипникс против Элиш, один на один, бомба ставится в пленте, и они сейчас найдут друг друга, Эксипникс, кружочки. Как же это делает Элиш, квадроки? They have the, they have the wits about them to know that this is a possible fake, and, well, that's it, that's the game, boys and girls, that will be 16 to 13 final score. Estetek still gets a frag. But it's a two on one and 10 HP. No chance he can win this. I'm... Okay, wait, wait. <gasps> Have that instant backup or flash through it from Esperanto's position. He's gonna get double Molotov. We'll pick up one though. Was ready for that angle, but now with only two CT players remaining, this is becoming very hard to handle. But Esperanto always want to find miracles out of nothing. Jim Lee sees the head, but Esperanto finds him. Find him now, it's Esperanto who has to go for the ace. He's gonna manage four. Flick onto Ariel as well. Meanwhile, Kraken and Forest, they've got to try and get some work done. No Molotov to use, there's a smoke on the site anyway. Forest has picked up one. Can he go any better than that? He knows it's been Whoa! better. Oh my God, Forest! Magnifique in Marseille! That was ridiculous! Уже теперь один, и бомбы нет. У него под контролем. Щелк от одного, кстати, Тарасу, наверное, не стоило здесь прыгать. И двоим будут отыгрываться, двоим через коннектор пойдут. Надо очень-очень внимательно сейчас играть против папаши Фоуна, потому что этот парень может сейчас отщелкать. Очень круто сейчас будет делать, и Фоллен этого не ждет. Главное не топнуть на этой подсадке. Тишина? Да, в тишине будет делать. И Фоллен, Фоллен, Фоллен. Здравствуйте! О, и, он и он теперь понимает всю картину происходящую и просто на план, на план будет выходить. Это просто реплей, опять же, того же самого матча. Мы помним, как Фоллен э, забирал три килла против точнее, ситуации 1 в 3 на том же самом кэше, когда, помнишь, он сначала бил игрока на вентиляции, а потом сделал еще два килла. Да-да-да. Ну вот здесь похоже. такая же ситуация, только немного в других позициях. Но это Габелла, друзья, тут Келикс ничего не сделал. Смотрим. Да не, ну Сейчас стрельба, стрельба должна. Это Фоллен. Да, да, здравствуйте. Fallen has to make a decision, has to stay alive and be efficient, then it looks like it's going to be A this time rather than B. That also means that furrer has got to slow down ever so slightly, watching to make sure no one's going to rotate behind him, because if he kills this too soon, he'll draw attention, and Fallen is not in position. He's gone for it, he's got two lined up, Kallax down. He's got to take those when they're available. If it was just the one, it might not have been worth it, but two plus... Full blown the... execute 40 seconds into the round and just find something weird that his falls can't handle. Another great pick for device and another opening kill. And he's gonna go for the follow-up. He's blind. Magus has got an aid kill. Again, the round is over, and why not? Continue challenging. You're on fire. 
Device shuts him down. Four kills in banana. Where is right hand? They know, sorry, where is right hand, so. That's gonna be so hard for him. But look at that, two taps, two insane taps instead. Time is running away, but he got time, oh my god. Do we? Burn Zipix alive, Burn's Magisk alive. He's good at those incendiaries, isn't he? I've seen an ace with a flash and an incendiary that killed him, and oh my goodness, it was amazing. He's got position as well. Device has no ideas on top of the bags, and we might get an ace, but he's a little bit too hungry. Oliver Twist, you may not have some more. This is just falling apart, isn't it? Stewie 2K. Too strong. Dupree will do what he can. Certainly capable of winning a three on one. He's got a chance to get the plan down here, so that'll at least give them another buy. That's gonna happen. Bomb has been planted. But at this point, really, what can he do? He'll probably get far here. Got the awareness, and now it's a two on one. This looks possible. This will be an ace. Were you really gonna say he really gets him, or did you react to the fact that he got him? No, I always do. All that. right, fair play. Uh, you fair should play. you should pay attention. I'm always I'm always making uh -huh. those calls. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, let's see if he gets another because now he's got four a chance for an ace. In the round where Stewie had four. This is two players. Oh, he's got this. He's got to go. He's going to go now. He's got an ace for Dupree. They completely surround him. And Tezian gets the shot. Great mid-round calls from Big, from Guppy. And now it's on to Electronic trying to isolate. Oh, himself. He reads oh! it. He reads it. And an arc. A power surge right through two. The Eagle apparently is really working well. Gonna get two or three, depending on where they go, and you could see it's been so long, hasn't it? It's day seven, and they still don't know that he's one of not one of them, and they're gonna line up. Oh my God, the org! It comes through beautifully, triple for him, and he's gonna close it out. A wonderful ace here from Elise, saving them, and they are just getting pushed out. The smokes, the grenades, oh, but Forrest holding the bomb. Can they get it? He needs one more kill. He's gonna get it. Oh my God! Even takes that rush behind him, and Forrest. He's gonna be able to do it. A ridiculous quad kill. Another kill. And Jack C hasn't really got here in time. He's already trying to run away, but he is gonna be hunted down. I don't think he's gonna to get to save this or oh, he's letting them pass. Oh my god. No way. No, 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 no. It's happening. What? It's he's won. He's won the round. How has this happened? I'm so tilted. I don't, I, I don't believe. <laughs> what? Hang on. There's a player gone from the server and everything. This this is gone on Reddit 100. Ten He's seconds. Won. Oh. <laughs> they... They're in close proximity, but Fur falls, and it is up to the big man as they push their way back around. Oh but he's toying word. with them, Ben. The KZ's paying off, and so will the no scope straight what? in towards Fugly. He's played this so oh. well, and he gets the no scope to end it all. It's existent, en fait, hein, qui est en ça parce que ils sont pas connus pour ça, quoi. Ça, oui, lui, il aime bien suivre le rythme, mais après, voilà. Tiens, après, regarde, hop. Oh, Flamy, le triplé. Est-ce qu'il pourrait peut-être partir sur un ace Il prend le quadrième kill et actuellement infâme. Or company, it can be super powerful. We've got Yugi on the side with USB and Gade in a normal spot. That's a very nice shot from here, man. He will allow his teammates to run this fashion. Gade, what are you doing? That's four kills from him. Monstrous. There's the ace as well. Maybe able to do the work. It's not quite enough. Glow has to be careful. He's so focused on one man. Manages a second, though. Freeman is going to be here looking for that cross. Spots him attempting to run away. He knows that if he goes any further, he has to try and cross over the angle. He's going to go for the peak, loses his head to Glow, looking for a little bit more, and he finds it as well. It's like a verdammt knappe Runde. And it's going direct by the Clay. What are you for a piece? What was that for a nice? What? 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 Alter, Alter, come in this bitte no more replays in. What a sick strike control. Well, Tabson's out of the round for this one. Simple, wants to follow it up. That's a good guess. Oh, great follow up headshot. Still a one versus two. He can maybe get the bomb plant here. That smoke is going to be covering him for just a minute longer. There's one right in front. He's going to pick it up and put out the Molotov. Oh, no! It goes through the Molotov instead. 
right on the far side of it, I think. That's a little bit of a mistake, and he's not going to be happy about that. Now he's in a very uncomfortable position. Going to go and face. Takes down once more here on the other side. He's just one bullet away here. He needs the headshot. No, he's got no more in the magazine. And now the clock is out instead. He can't get Oh, my God. He finally picks it up. Quad kill from Simple. That's a bit too hard. Okay. Maybe nervous. I don't know. Communication from Space Soldiers. They're lining up for him. Stiko looking for a repositioning. Smart stuff. Great headshot. It's down to Major. The spray is there. Stiko. That is absurd. La bombe est à terre. Elle est récupérée par Tarek qui se précipite pour l'amorcer. Un contre trois. On fond sur lui. Le premier, le deuxième. Et l'amorçage est possible. Sony, un contre un. Tarek a trouvé le moyen de ce un contre un. Il a trouvé une situation pas tout à fait favorable parce que on ne sait pas où est Sony pour lui. Alors que finalement le Finlandais se doute à peu près de la position de son adversaire. Encore que Sony pourrait être convaincu que l'Américain est toujours sur le site. Ça n'est pas le cas. Pas du tout. Mais Sony attend patiemment que Tarek se montre. Sauf que Tarek n'est plus là. Il n'a pas de raison de se montrer du tout. Il a su se replacer. Tarek pour un 1v3 de l'espace. Tarek qui met Sony à 21 points de vie. La flash qu'il doit lancer pour décaler. Coup d'épaule, il fait du bruit, il y va. Pourquoi il y va au Glock Il y va au Glock, il le fait 2-0-6-6 Edward might easily catch a player. Edward gonna be there. I think they might have actually... No, that wasn't quite team damage. Yeah, they need to push us onto that third map. One overpass, or this is gonna be a sad exit of the tournament. Flamey goes down, they trade at the end here, and now in the afterplant. Tabson and Tizzy, and can they hold on? Tabson's been an incredibly exciting player in. He's not going to make it work this time. Edward will take him down. Tizian very much boxed in. Gets one headshot. And now Simple's in coming into the other side. The smoke is right there. He's got no clue how to make it through. Tizian has got the quad kill. He needs the ace. And he's going to get the headshot as well. One more ace for Big. Aslep, на долю секунды, начинается выход девайс. Забирает Нитро. Так, у нас совсем все плохо по фрагам. Но все-таки Мэджиск вроде как должен здесь перестрелить своего оппонента. Нап, закончились патроны. У Мэджиск успел перезарядиться, чтобы понимали. Еще и твист все-таки в конце может оформить эйс, но он остался против Зипикса, лучшего в клатч моментах у Астралиса, и это может быть серьезной проблемой. Твист играет на ящике, Зипникс чекает, Твист пока не может определиться, с какой стороны выйдет его оппонент, и oh. попадает Твист все-таки по Зипниксу немножко. He gets this one. <gasps> he hit Did he just leg him in midair? Yep. Yeah. Oh, go for it, you boss. I'm leaving the server. This is still doable. Nuts. Come on. It doesn't have a defuse kit, though. That's a shame. He's done it. <laughs> Covering his teammate in Woxic and HS. They have to go forward, but it's just going to be. Oh, no. Woxic. If yeah. this happens, Anders. What? Uh, I take it all back. After <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> Absolute pussy. <laughs> you could have had no. could have had a moment, Moses. Uh, I was it. smelling a pie bet involved <laughs> there. It <laughs> could have it could have happened. Going through the smoke, Woxic gonna pick up the kill on electronic and now it's just Seuss left and he's gonna go down, Woxic! Three with... kills. Eventually comes through the triple onto Binte Excret Frag and a 1v3. The bomb's been dropped on the balcony as well. So the CG's have plenty of time to rotate. Excret gonna clutch it. Two kills. And doesn't he doesn't know where the bomb is. You can't figure it out. Smokes will go down a cover off short. Lucky has spotted the head of the next CT to face. Jumps up. Looks for the OK. Hold on! Extra! What was that? Check up game, that he knows the bomb is going to be. Ah, and damit hat man sein Ziel erreicht. Oh, Pex noch mal gegenhalten. Der versucht jetzt in der Knife zu gehen und die AWP auch zu safen. Das ist sein Ziel. Die AWP durchzubringen! Oh mein Gott, was war das denn von ihm? Der hat kein Devkit dabei. Zieht dann mal rein, ihr macht das! No, давай, Kulinka. Quadra Kill spasait Astralis in diesem Round. Ой, 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 а что нет дефьюз китов? Нет дефьюз китов, это нож! Это будет да, он его зарезал! No idea. Maybe with shots like that, with shots like that. <laughs> Some great pickups there for Draken. But I think this is where his story ends here. 20 seconds. Like he, um, as rude as it may sound, he has to die at this point. If he wants to uh, get the money bonus in. So.
Dragon, MP9. Okay, he still gets one more kill. But this is where it should stop. Slow is here. Uh, wow, okay, Draken is somehow getting another kill here. <laughs> what is that? He almost pulled off a, a 1v4 to just really end them all. And here it is. Look at that. How clean he's looking with those. Oh my goodness, those 4K with the USP. Just beautiful stuff. Shutting. Молотов пошел в плен, 38 секунд за раунд, если бы они опять вышли на какой-нибудь третьей секунде, ну, третья, конечно, загнул, 13 секунде, допустим, то могло бы закончиться не так приятно, Раш забирает Ела, Клач, один в два здесь вполне можно себе изобразить, Раш заходит за цистерну, будет играть очень осторожно, два килла уже в этом раунде он сделал, и, в принципе, он все еще... Оставляет себе все шансы потащить этот раунд Нужно делать буквально один минус Вот он первый приходит, нужно спрятаться и желательно играть от бомбы Так и получается, Раш забирает Пекеля У чела есть гранаты, но он решает, что пока что их кидать он не будет Нужно либо ставить бомбу, либо идти убивать Так запрыгнул сюда на магазу a rattled fanatic here, and he will go for the party. He does bait out flush up. There's the headshot coming through, but surely they rush him and try and take him down. They can jump on top of the bomb site here, but fumbling a little bit there. That's JW. That's given him an opportunity here, Matt. But luckily, he's only on 30 HP. Shark slides back to quad again. He's got the AK in hand, 34 HP. Surprising, he even got this bomb to this position, considering he had to give up the site and go back. And not only that, he's got Crims. He's got a real chance. It's JW to go against him. AK versus M4. Headshot versus... Oh, headshot. Shocks just nails it. So well played. Yeah. Well. It's not looking good at Cloud9. It all falls onto Skadoodle. He does spot out Cold Zero Ooh. and Bolts as well. So Skadoodle, maybe, maybe there's still hope for them in this pistol. And he's brought it back to a one-on-one. -on -one. And Skadadi, well, he might be home. One versus one. Gonna go in for the bomb plant down here at B. The smoke blooms. The bomb goes down. And Taco, he's all the way up in mid. He gets his choice as to where he retakes from. And he's gonna pick Connector. Skadoodle starts to make his way down. He's gonna be in a good spot to shut this down. And Skadoodle, he's gonna oh, land the shot. That's a nice pop flash and a push through. And now, actually, he's got an AK-47 on Seiko. All of his teammates are essentially dead, but... It's a chance to do more damage. He somehow slipped by. They don't even realize where he went. Now he's got one more and a one on two. No armor. Not a huge chance, but he's doing damage. It's very strange that they lost count of him. I mean, there was a lot of chaos going on. Stiko finding one more kill. My God, he's playing well at the moment. Even heard that. He saw the jump. Stiko with the headshot. Dolof Meister detects there might be something up here. He's not going to do anything about it. It's Tarek with three. Oh Make it four. Ах, ты вот такой твист. Но все-таки нет, не получилось. Не получилось игроку команды NRG твиста дозабрать, зато так и получилось. И твист будет по ходу идти до конца. Не ты на убил, молодец. Не получается с бочек. То есть позиция теперь известная, но при этом он все равно поймал на гранате оппонента. Но не пропал, это плохо. Но твист по ходу здесь есть будет делать. По ходу? Да, ему дали причем. The remaining three CTs will start to push back up onto the site. Around the corner here, two, and a collateral is gifted to him. Steel doesn't even believe it. Hiko and Kadian both down. Now we can try to waste time. Six push forward, he's jumped onto the bomb. Wardell's gonna rush in. The knife, a little lower, man. A little lower. Oh, he gets it. All the way up. P2K in hand. He's gonna spot a tower immediate. First blood being drawn. Yeah. But Woxic is gonna continue to aggress. He finds another one, finds a third, finds a fourth, and he gets the ace. Woxic. On equality. Not my USP. Hashtag not all USPs. <laughs> not all USPs are tightly USPs. Oh. Ventet's just running across the site. It is Zion though. T 1v2. And he's got a great position. 18 seconds. Needs to get it quickly over to that B bomb site. He's walking as far as he can, but he has to eventually oh, run. Yes. Beautifully done. Great timing. And he's got a smoke as well for connector. Oh, well. Where does he play the post plant from is the question. Oh, he's going to get a free kill. Why, though, Execute? Execute? Why? What was that? He will get traded immediately by Nitro. 
That's a big trade there. Ooh, and Zeus ready for the flank, actually. Engagements together. Flash bangs out. The CT's pretty blind. What, what? on earth was that from Zeus? Jumping clock. Zeus is absolutely destroying everyone on the server. Into four people. JDM's still in banana for some reason. <laughs> Necro goes down. Somehow Majiska's fortunate to be alive. Forrest is aware of it, but it looks the oh, wrong way. What? Somehow turns it around to find Majiska anyway. He was chasing down the player at A main, and he's turning in every direction. He's got Device, he's got Zippix. I do feel like it's not going to work out that way. Validate picks up two from the outside. AZ finds the trade, however. Now he's got an AK to play with, so he's got a 1v2 set in front of him, but he's got to watch that alt tunnel. Still had the bomb carrier watching out for it, so AZ will dive right back in, and oh my god, just knocks up Disco Dothlin with a quick 180 flick. The crucial mistake that he obviously couldn't realize, though, was that Twist was still on the outside through the alt tunnel with an up. So and he's now, reading it perfectly, I think. Let's see. Oh, yes, AZ. This is oh, incredible. Might go for the upper peak. And that might I think, be his I think, I think he's holding it heaven right now, just to hold yeah, a midpoint. Yeah. But now, obviously, he's seen the Molly yeah. go down. He's with the bomb plant, so he's going to draw full attention to the upper site here. And it's all about the 1v1. Ooh, the oh, time. my goodness. The Twist time. takes the fight, but it doesn't matter. His AZ pulls off a massive turnaround. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Да, выбили его все-таки с мида. Бади забирает еще Итана. Брис отвечает, но дело в том, что он закрыт в этом скрипе. Пагли неплохо отрабатывает. Там еще бомба будет дефузить. Брис, 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 did he tap it long no, enough? No, I think... Uh, yeah, exactly. I, they heard the door, I think. That's why he yeah, didn't even do that. Yeah, because the bomb didn't right. stick long enough to make the so sound, I'm pretty sure. Still get what he was looking for. Very pivotal time here. He's across the front side. Oh, oh my oh goodness! Oh my god, okay. He takes he down this. Nico with ease and a one versus one now with Yugi. The AWPs are out in full force. The A one versus one. Really well played by Cirque here. Oh! <laughs> the mind games. All this the chess. This is so well played. <laughs> Every oh, chess man. piece nice. in the book. And we're going to leave Device alone in the clutch. First kill, second kill, Device! It's possible on his position of the LG! Oh, he's... Oh, my goodness, Electronic! One more to go, though. Bomb planted. He will quickly apply the pressure. Tapping on that one as he moves forward through the door. Trying to guess. But it's going to be made very difficult. He's uh, he's up against Device, and he's going for the hold. My God, Electronic! Just crack it open. One good shot. He's actually preferring that, just like you said, Roses. Attacker gets one. A second headshot going for more. The spray is in. Attacker with the triple. Oh. A quad kill comes through. He's still got a couple of bullets, and there's the ace. Oh my God! Right, again, and how fitting because it's been him and Get Right that have been so impressive throughout this series. He now has 14 kills total, takes over the lead for his team, and gives NIP a much, much needed pistol round. On the T side. I remember, I'm just not watching the second game. She changes it. Feels not very good on this card. Plus, the exchange. The player who plays regularly. No, he doesn't play often. He doesn't train or do anything. It's clearly visible and noticeable. But that doesn't mean anything. We don't have any stone in the house. Oh, 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 to find that kill, however. Definitely spots him. Oh, not only does he spot him, thank you very much! Oh, wow, no way. He's hoping that Flusher can anchor this position down, but he has the option to go back to A and look at Flusher. Oh, my God. And that smoke is tantalizing! Oh! As sneaky as Flusher was! No way! Oh, my God! Look at the speed here on MIBR. They walk into another grenade and Glaive just pops his head up for a kill on Tarek and then he's back down again. They're coming for him and he's gonna get one more kill that drops the bomb to the low ground. He's looking for more a triple here for the captain of Astralis just doing it on his own. I'm not sure he's expecting the ball. Oh, oh my god, god. turn you around! What has Glaive done? Good grenades again. Oh, Ooh, whoa, no, five yes, and eight. Oh, what's yes. happened? Yes. 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 На плюс моральки, пойдут давить дальше, но выходит Диди Бой, ставит второй минус в смок у Амджиниса с Калашом, делает два минуса в ответ. Остается биты, кстати говоря, сам Бади, который также погибает, а в смерти есть еще игрок. Это БНТ, 5 патрон, всего лишь находится на руках у Амджиниса, это раунд для коллектива. 
get right. Alone inside of mid. He's able to close down Alex due to the low HP, but 3D Max in a 1v2. And get right has to try and retake. Losing this round means a 15th round for 3D Max. And already get right to try and just push himself inside of the higher catwalk. Finds one kill onto Jinx though and makes it a 1v1. Lucky on the back of the bomb site. Get right dives on through. And then. Gonna back up. He knows the pressure is gonna end up coming from the apartment side and the porch side. I'll stop for that. He manages to get the first kill. One more to take out Luminosity. Oh, eagle that'll finish him off. Three. I was gonna say this absolutely has a retake written all over it. Chris J. AK does manage one. Still has control behind the silo with 62 HP. That's more than enough to take down two players. Should he play it right? And he plays it perfectly. Down they go. Mount Sports with the round. As well, and Taco's there to take his place again. It's gonna collapse into absolute disaster. Surely. Oh, the pop flash is there. So, QRB will get one more. He tries to create some space with the smoke grenade and the CTs will help him. And he's got to run for it. I'm out later. Do you want to know, so here's another reason why I prefer 10k over 16k is look, Coldzera has half armor, right? So that makes the MAC-10 that MSL had viable, you know? Yeah, like it, it just adds more strategic thinking into the game, right? Because it's like, hey, CTs, are you sure you want to get head armor every run? Yeah, you true. know. Oh, QRB trying to reposition. Got a smoke down, got some Molotovs down. This is good. This is good movement. He could win this. Yeah, yeah, one versus two got an this AK. This is really good movement because they're not going to expect him to be here. I mean, they could if... I, I don't think he'll get the sound cues it. now. He won't, he won't hear them coming up short, so he could get taken off guard. But uh, Bolts is a key man here. He's the only man with a kit. Spots the first player. Oh, he's playing the information game. He's killing the time as much as possible. That is beautiful from QRB. Okay, I was going to say, could have gone to something there. They keep pushing in. A little bit of team damage. And Crims, he's lined himself up too. This AK is going to be doing some serious work. Now it's like Rogue Crims, the two players that have something to fight with in this round. Crims is in with a third. And this AK, Tom, you said it could do work. Ooh. And that's what it's going to do. Getting weary. The play could come in from behind. Crims is on for the ace, and he gets <laughs> it done. Oh, Guardian, what a way to do this. An R1v2 for Zipnix. Incredible in these situations, but going through the checklist mentally. Resistor's up there, forced away. Zipnix gets the cross. Bomb to be planted now. Nico's working his way back through. He's got himself an AWP. Exist looking for a gun as well. Of course, no kits here. And Zipnix needs to pick the position. Opting just for that little cubby corner. Both players coming back in through the vents as well. Gonna make some noise on the drop. And now Zipnix needs to land some beautiful shots. One is good, the second's better! To mixed effect. There's a flashbang up, there's a kill, there's the bomb drop as well. Terra gets aggressive, finds one more. Rush drops down, it's the wrong moment. Terra swings out wider and gets another. This is two, missed opportunity there. Jumps to try and fade out the shot and Terra gets there. Closing it out with a quad kill. They need to just try and cut them down at this round. Skadoodle, he isn't peeking. He was just waiting for them to come towards him as he invites them in. Gets the first two. It's all an accurate. Oh, behind. the no-scope. Skadoodle. VP. VP in this position. No, it's a very bad device. Simple. First went. Check it. Big pieces. Take it. Five seconds to the end. You need to live. You need to live. Sasha. Run away. Sasha. Shock it. Oscar. One second. Navi. Zone spamming through the smoke. And there's a universe in which a bullet connects and just now getting started. But he's light years away and it might not matter. He's doing in the last game that we just saw and he's gonna get one more kill. Picking up attacker, getting the flick in, Summer goes down. He's going towards Ava. Oh. That's not a good kill to start off with. Henny with one, nearly the adjustment on the second, will be able to find himself two frags. The hellfire coming through then, but he needs to slap them all down quick, smart. We'll be able to get the backstab off. Yell arrives on the scene and punishes with the oil. It's a bit of one, it's a bit of two. No chance without variants. Chris Jay on the top, he came, he made two kills in the answer. But he зонирует с маком или что это нет это флешка крис джей ушел сюда же сани уже на хелпе на коннекторе встречает какое хедшотище боже мой что творит голландец он просто раскрыл свои алые паруса да что ты и... творишь о мой бог да 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 да, да браво 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 mm. крис джей просто Again. He needs to try and stay alive here. They've got the advantage. They're trying to fall back. Yeah, 
The bomb's down, it's ticking away, but Astralis has been way too strong yet. They're gonna mow them down one by one. It's just gonna leave flaming, and nothing can be done. He comes through, back in a four on four with 20 seconds. They're making their way through, they want their bomb plant and cleave. He stopped it a couple of rounds ago. Won't be possible this time, Device. Oh, but he's gonna do it though, 10 seconds. One more kill for Device. And back around the corner, they need this bomb plant. And this time, no one's gonna be able to stop it. Two on two as Nitro goes down. And it's all on Neff. They're so low on health, though. They do not have a smoke, so he's transitioning back for the middle. If they defuse right now, he's gonna have no chance at all. Setting up a grenade. They don't even know it. They haven't really thought about it yet. This could be an absolutely genius round out of Neff. He did the defuse once before. Can he save them this time? Oh, he's gonna find the first angle. There's one. Neff fly with a triple. Now one more kill to close this round. That might put Team Liquid with a map victory. He's up on the stand. He gets it! What a great touch! Being electric so far, he might be able to struggle here. Indeed, he will. But Nico has been fantastic. Three for him, looking for the ace. Headshots all over the place as Nico lights them up. Okay. Fires now with the flash down, easy kill. Good shot in return from Nitro. Stop. Two in the site directly for G2. That's all. Shock's taking one of them. Shock's taking down. Good kill, Nitro. Second in the round. It's exactly what they need. That's what we talked about earlier on in the segment as well when we started the game about Nitro's contribution. Oh. That's beautiful. That's much better. Nitro starting to show up now. Still some more work to be done. He's going for the ace right now. Just getting has to find, and he'll get it. Spawn. Haven't made a noise though, so might get the drop on one of these players. <laughs> Well, why not do it with style when you can? No scope into the head through a wall onto Kenny. Uh, He's able to follow it up on Apex as well. He can jump on the bomb here. He has a smoke. He has full utility. They're coming oh, in God. through Speedway, but Oscar can win this round. Death to the chicken that killed Rops in the match yeah, yesterday versus SK. And Oscar's just going to stick the bomb. Oh my you God. You have to be joking. What a way to lose a round. G2 are going to be kicking themselves. Они нем не знают. Раз, два. И тут, возможно, сейчас третий залетит. Симпл уже забожил в этом раунде. Флюша против него ситуация один в три. Симпл крутит ногу, пытается просто жить бомбу. Big indication, Nico. One headshot. Second to follow it up. All of my That's Nico again, getting the fourth headshot and looking for more. Quad headshot coming in, shutting down all of Navi just like that. And he wants the ace. Damn, steal. Going off the default position, but Scoodoodle, second off in the round, now has two opponents left. Unfortunately for him, they're low. Won't matter for his op, but he's creeping up on the angle, spots the bomb, sees the shoulder of one player, comes to the top of stairs, looks for another <gasps> fight. Whoa! Oh! 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 Good shot! Okay! <laughs> and now it's a real game changer. He's got the AK up, Nathlite down to 29 HP. Looks like Naf with 40 seconds. Naf can see you first. He's not going to run away. There no. it is. Oh, what are you saying, bro? I thought so, too. He didn't do it, but he already had the advantage. He's the one that said he was working. Tarek, minus three. Tarek, what is he doing now? 24 seconds. Nico going to take down Device, but Dupri, he's so ready. That's the bomb as well. They need time to go back and pick it up. Mid-air gets shot. Oh, my God, Dupri. One more kill. Taking down all of Meister. That flag was absolutely flawless. I do. They both had grenades out in that case, but either way, it doesn't oh, matter. No. He still gets the kill off as Electronic is outside of the site and he's ripping them apart with the AK momentum saved. Yeah, Electronic's got the kill. That's definitely... Should we start talking about Train a little bit more seriously? We've got a long way to go yet. Oof. Remember, that is the third map if required. The problem that you have now real is that you put another round more the team of Ghost Gaming and you can play. Eh? No fail, this is his race. Pues no sé, yo creo que en el caché ha dado el do de pecho y ahora mismo está yendo para abajo. Pero que te digo, Seniki, sabes que te mete otra ronda ahora mismo Ghost Gaming y puedes tener problemas luego si te meten pistolas. Sí. Sí, sí. Lo decías antes, ¿no? Que, que, que llegando a esas cinco rondas ya más o menos te pueden jugar bien desde la OCT. Hay que darle el de Fuse. Cuidado que le sale, ¿eh? Le da tiempo, le da tiempo. Lo ha escuchado tarde, finalmente de Twin lo va a conseguir. La ronda para el no te lo creo. Y get the sneak in. Almost making a bit of noise. They hear it coming. He still wins the fight. Make this one work. The bomb is miles away at the moment. And get right. Sneaking to the smoke and getting the kill on Stephen. Waiting, hoping that they're going to come to the bomb side. And oh, he gets the kill on the pre. Such great timing. And he realizes probably the device is going to try and switch it up. He doesn't want anything to do with that shotgun. It's hiding in the vent. The device is going to be there in time. It looks like he has the upper hand right now. Looking for it. Get right does have a Molotov, so if device, oh, he's gonna go for the plant right in front, trying to get up. Yeah, he's, he wants the grenade. What a mind game, throwing it on top of device. 
He's thrown out Gat out of the vent. I can't believe it. No bomb plant. And now Get Right's waiting on the other side. He's almost done this. The triple needs the quad kill for the content. Oh! He's got higher health, but it's not perfect. Down he goes. It's Guardian. He's the only man standing between Cloud9 and the Major. It's going to be a double peak. There's the first one. Oh! We go to overtime number two. That was early on in the round. However, right now, Lecro with two with a Deagle. Let's go! And the third one as well towards Apps. Lecro, are you out of the world? What? Out of this world with a Deagle. Deagle shots through the door. No one able to spot behind Red Crate. There's a chance for the Deagle to find one further at mid as well, but it's Electronic. Still holding strong with the M4. Magisk, meanwhile, gets one. Oh my goodness! Him out there's a nice kill. That's the bomb down as well. See if they can rush him down. He's got through oh. with a no scope taking him down. And now it's all on Nico. One versus three. He's going to get one more headshot. He's got a minute. But there is a flank coming in from Automatic. Tarek's on the other side. That smoke is going to go up. And Nico's going to go for the full plant. Not even going to try and fake it. So now the bomb is down. And as you said, no kit. So they can't wait forever. They're going to have to try and see if they can lock him out of this one. Just waiting in the corner. He's got nowhere to hide. If they fight him at the same time, there's no way they could do this. Just hoping that they don't peek at the same time. Got spotted out. Long range tap gets the headshot now. Tarek on the other side. Oh my god! Главный матч с бой падает на размене один на один. Дюпри остался против Нитро. Нитро убивает одного, вытаскивает Калаша. Далее станции пристреливают девайсы. Тот самый момент, когда он должен вытащить. И он тащит! Towards mid. And they're just gonna go rushing through. God sent on ready for this at all. In comes the backstab from Nathlai. Push double. Oh, he's gonna get all four. The bombs drop. There's players all around. He's surrounded. Nathlai. Oh, we have a nade stack coming out for the pit. It's fantastic. Like finds two and Gabrite's diving in for a little bit more as well as Nico has got to bail out his team but he's stuck in a 1v4 on this bomb site. Still plenty of time on the clock but Carrigan needs to come in to save his face. Nico still able to keep on standing. He's been brought down at 10 HP and he's the gift that keeps on giving. Nico's bailed them out of this round Whoa. and Nico's gonna find absolutely everything. Следовало, правда, вышли на пленты, пока что падают один за другим. Да, игрок с четырех не сыграл, и только Оскар с Крижеем остаются в живых. Но и эту ситуацию можно распетлять. Вот пытались сейчас они здесь додавить. Как ушел Лес? И Gratisfaction, второй игрок сверхниза. Она же четверочка, как ее называют. Он же поп, как говорят наши англоязычные коллеги. Там просто раньше был поп-док, если вы помните. <laughs> Поэтому так и называется. Ну, под напряжение. Просто народе это был вагон с нарисованной собакой, поэтому так и назывался. Итак, байтит Gratisfaction на бомбу. Первый открывается, это Джексон, красный ему можно, ну и дальше. Ну, тут ошибка на ошибке, Оскар делает уже квадрокилл, это эйс от дедули. That was, a, that was a, a little bit crazy, that, I'm not gonna lie. That propels him to the top of the scoreboard. 24 frags for Dupree, and those, these are all precise shots. I think it's all headshots in this, doesn't he? Yep. Follows this up, and it's all instant. There's no chance of anyone winning these fights. Now, he's gonna have to be flawless as NIP decide to rush into the bomb site. Electronic with a good position. They line up. Oh, oh my, my god. god! That is just so... Fortunate for Electronic, and he's going to finish it off with class and style. Gut rein, 8 Sekunden. Das Bömmtlein liegt, aber Flamey kommt von der Seite rein. Flamey mit 2, Flamey mit 3. Was ist denn jetzt hier los? Flamey komplett das Karussell hier am Auspacken. Und damit ist es Smooja und Flamey rettet hier die Runde mit dem 4K. Can see this round and get right. He's gone barreling in. He's up and left the rest. He's trying to find these openers, and indeed he does. Rez is here on the bench as well now. Attacked on down, finished off by Guardian, but Get Right is the gift that keeps on giving. He's somehow on three, and now just Nico left to try and overthrow up in the apartments. Doesn't have the kit to play with, time is ticking down. That Molotov gonna rain on in, and actually a second one for your troubles. Nico gonna be held back, and Get Right's on the bomb. Nico's gone oh, running through, but he's doubled up the molly. He's down the way, starting to hit some shots now. Corner. He's gonna get wrapped on, can only hit one, wasn't efficient enough, but Guardian certainly is. Three in the round, Skadoodle finally gets Kerrigan. But well, he's got to go searching for Guardian, who's had an incredible game on the off. So unbelievably calm. Anthus 
There we go. He's got that Giga second shot as well. Can he get the third? Hampus just explodes into the round. Four kills for Hampus. Not quite the ace. But... It doesn't really seem like a lot if you're, if you're a first time viewer of Counter Strike. It doesn't seem like much has happened, but it's so hard to do that in a normal game. You you you'll get found out. You'll you'll get killed by somebody trying to do that. Swag has gone down in the meantime. Tarrant out of it. Oh, the clicking from Nico. The that's an ace! Grenade's really expended as of yet. It's Christian to defend, Ooh. and defend he shall. Gets the first headshot, takes down the bomb. Not a bad start. Very good start. Swings up. As well, look at the accuracy from Chris. Yeah, that's Start with an ace, good. maybe? Maybe. He's got a chance to go for JR as well. He's got that four headshots. Look, now they're going to take this two, right? They're going to play against the Nipi, and now they're going to play against the так, Мэджиск убивает еще и Реза. Ну вот, вроде казалось бы, 5 в 3, надо реализовать, но никак не получается. Мэджиск просто спрейт уже там с плеча. Зиппи, кстати, на идеальной позиции, его точно не было чекать. Мэджиск просто... Просто Мэджиск просто. Это просто. Начинается раскидка флешек. Ника моментально забирает Некса, щелкает дальше зигзаг и монстра. Ника разыгрался, показал просто монстр килл. И это квадрокилл, и это... Ну, эйсик, давай, Ника, эйс оформляет на верпасе счет 10-6. Get his first kill on the board. And many more. Look at them streaming in like lemmings, and like lemmings they will be... Слушай, ну, четыре, четверых там более чем достаточно. А был бы пятый, он бы сделал мир. Ой-ой-ой. Оп, он и так может взять этот раунд, он остается один на один, он попадает по Кроману. 37 хп, он видел, по идее, этот хэдшот. Играет на шифте. Вы-вы-вы-вы-вы-вы-вы-вы-вы-вы-вы-вы-вы-вы-вы-вы-вы-вы-вы-вы-вы-вы-вы-вы-вы-вы-вы-вы-вы-вы-вы-вы-вы-
Get Right's walking in, honed on him. Down, and he drops the bomb of all the pieces to take back into their control. That one is crucial because somebody of the two nips on the bomb site has to come back. 15 seconds left, and they're gonna cross on the open ramp. That presents Jame a target, but now he has no head. Dennis down and Get Right alone. Eight seconds, oh! a tap into the brain of Kickert, and Fitch will creep forward. Get right knows he's got to be close, but doesn't know exactly where he's at. Fitch playing the highway, and he's going to get himself vision, but Get Right's got the kills. An ace for Christopher. Challenging simple at six steps. That's brave, and he does get a frag and fall back. Absolutely wonderful stuff from him. And he peeks again and takes down Simple. MSL, how is he maneuvering with balls this big? Oh, 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 okay. There's Olaf Meister at the back. He's going to be looking to rain down some power, but did Nico just land that from yep. smoke? Oscar knows he has to start landing shots here. They can't get too close, but Nico's just not missing a thing. Five versus three now. Oh my goodness, Nico is just an absolute beast. He's going for it, boys. He's going for the ace. Four kills to his name. Rob, he's been taken down. Just robbed them of lunch money. Free op, all these upgrades like Navi, they're, they're facing the economic despair. Spare no longer. Oh my oh, god. Damn. That's something else. Just for that 12th kill as well. The cross. And Dupree is safe for the moment. There's one kill. He's gonna go for more. That's the bomb down. And Forrest eventually there to shut it. But there's just been too many losses. Great hold from Astralis. Just a great job, isn't it? 30 seconds again for a one versus four. He's already got the one kill. Tapping away and taking down. 25 seconds. He is looking for the straight ace clutch to try and get back in this game. That would be a bit of a miracle once again. He's picked up the bomb and he wants to go upstairs, making a bit of noise. He's trying to see if he can juke them out and just be as noisy as possible. Maybe they're going to be looking the wrong way, but they're hiding in the corner. Oh, he's oh, still no. going go down. Now it's a one-on-one -on -one Magus coming in. He's just out of the bottom forest. He needs one more kill. We'll be in his story clutch if he could do it. The grenade landing on top. He's down to 50. Oh! Oh!